Hey y'all, how are we doing tonight? Or morning, if you're in a different time zone. I decided to do a random live stream tonight. If you're new to my channel, I see we have some new faces. Uh, welcome, first of all. I normally have my webcam on, but today was an unplanned stream, so I apologize for that. But hey, you know, we can focus on building a little bit easier without it. Uh, okay, so let's go from the beginning of this chaotic story. Go back to bed, Nora. Why? Sleep is for the weak. All right, so uh, I deleted Slayport. Not because I wanted to, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I accidentally deleted this uh, island. And again, it wasn't because I wanted to. So remember the DA stream that we did the other night? Well, we were supposed to work on Slayport that night. I was talking to my lovely husband, and when I thought I was restoring my save because I have a modded console, we can't back up our islands like, you know, normal consoles do. We go through a program. So I started a no time travel island. <laughs> it's bedtime for us old people. I decided, I decided to stream tonight. <laughs> Hi, uh, Kenny, welcome, welcome. But yes, uh, so, I thought I was restoring Slateport for the stream that we did on the DA stream. Well, instead, when I was talking to Steven, I overrode it with my no time travel island. <laughs> yes, everything is your fault. So I had to rebuild everything. So I've been behind on content and not posting as often because I was rebuilding pretty much everything. So I think of this as a good thing because I was able to actually fit in a little bit more content than I was expecting or originally able to. So some pluses did come out of that. <laughs> Steven, AKA Nora 2.0. <laughs> also, I wanna say, hey, thank you all so much for being here tonight. Today's probably gonna be a shorter stream. I wanna say um, maybe an hour and a half just because it is late and I wanted to not edit tonight so I figured just doing a stream would be easier so uh, I'll do a quick walkthrough of basically Slayport 2.0 hi Shelby welcome to the stream and hey Dammy this is number two I have not restarted Slateport except when I accidentally deleted it hey Kyle welcome to the stream so if you saw my previous tour video, I took inspiration from Aya Kotumori's island and I really loved that uh, car workshop. So I wanted to do like a boat workshop. So I added that there. So this is new. I also was able to push up the highway a little bit on the rebuild, which is kind of cool because now I have all of this space here. So I might do some sort of like a mini boardwalk and I'll be able to do some trees. So I guess that is a plus sign, you know, about all of this. Everything is pretty much the same. Again, I had to make some minor adjustments, but uh, over here, I tried to rebuild this as best I could from memory. I think I, I got it pretty much spot on. Um, okay, up here, pretty much the same. Yeah, the garage thing I think was a really cool build from that island tour, so I really wanted to incorporate somehow on here, like do a boat workshop. Today we're going to be working over here, because remember how I did that little build over here? Well, it's gone, because, you know, I don't pay attention and I delete things on accident. And this is the first time I've ever actually deleted an island on accident. <laughs> like, I've never done it. And... I was like, oh my gosh, I know I'm a chronic like restarter, but I really did not do this on purpose. Hey, Claire. Oh my gosh, all my moderators are here today. I'm so excited. So this is going to be what we're doing today. I ended up placing all the water and stuff, but you'll see. I got plans. I got plans over here. But let's go back over to what I did change from the rebuild. Um, all right. Let's see. How do I get back to my highway? <laughs> hey, Lola, welcome to the stream. And hi, Tanya, welcome to the live stream. I'm so glad that you get inspired by my videos. All right, let's go up to this. So pretty much the same. I'm honestly kind of impressed that I was able to recreate so much from memory, but I mean, there is some things that are different. So uh, I tried to do some improvements, but you'll notice that behind the boat workshop, I have like a little dock area which y'all will see in a second. 
Um, my favorite Stranger Things uh, character is Eleven. All right. Let's go over here. So that's pretty much the same, but there's a villager house over there. So that was something I could not fit in on the last build, was a villager house. So I was able to sneak one in over here. And then we have the roundabout from the last stream. I was able to recreate that, but also I was able to do the beach over here. So remember from that island tour on my previous video, how I was freaking out about the backside beach like this? Excuse all these grown out, oops. Well, I guess my inventory is full right now. But anyways, I wanted to incorporate this. So I did a little beach area over here because I know that I probably won't have space for the um, ocean perspective. If I do, I'll be shocked. Oh, thank you so much, Ziva. All right, let's see. I feel that every time you rebuild the highway, it gets longer and longer. So damn me, actually the highway is shorter, which is why I was able to fit all of this. I, I know it seems longer, but it's actually a lot shorter. It's shorter by like 10, I wanna say 10 squares. So I was shocked about that. But I think the rebuild, I honestly like this rebuild a lot more. Um, all right, so what else is new on the rebuild? From the little roundabout over here, I did a volleyball spot. It was too awkward of an area to do like some tiered builds or just like a big build in general. So I thought this was a really nice filler, especially since I'm at the edge of my map. And I don't know, I just felt like because of the beach perspectives right there, I don't know, I think it just made more sense to have it here. So that's also new. And the rebuild of the highway, I'm very excited about actually. So I was able to do this little walkway. So this is new, very excited about it. Yeah, it does seem a little bit longer, but I just think it's because I was able to fit so much more content. So here is the edge of the other side of the highway. So all of this is kind of different. I mean, this part right here is the same, but then it starts to change pretty much completely since I was able to add more content because it's not the edge of my map. I mean, it is, but it's not as close like the last one. Um, all right, so yeah, there's that. And then, also let me know if the music is too loud. I'm not sure if it is on y'all's end. I'm turning it down for me a little bit. Well, I really want a volleyball court. I might be doing a abandoned pool at a different spot. At probably most likely at the top I don't know maybe the top part of my map somewhere but I'm wanting to do like a abandoned swimming pool so that's why I decided to put that up there instead but I mean it could change that could be my abandoned swimming pool I'm not sure I just know that I want to do a new volleyball court so I put it up there for now if I relocate it it'll probably be closer to my entry but it's either gonna be a swimming pool up here, and if it has to be this spot, it'll be, like I said, the abandoned one, because I have it on a higher level. Hi, Daniel, welcome to the stream. So yeah, I mean, like this spot up here, I'm just not sure about it yet. I mean, I want a swimming pool that is completely drained out and a volleyball court still. So definitely my must-haves. Okay, I think I didn't show y'all this. This was just a simple filler. It's nothing too special. I just thought it was kind of a nice little addition since we we're going for a lot of, you know, docks and stuff. So just a really simple filler spot right here. Um, okay, so with that being said, I guess we'll just head back over and I'll set my speed animations. By the way, because of my modded console, my character is gonna like spaz out. So there's gonna be some item loading and lag because of it. So just be ready for that if you are new. But yeah, we're gonna be working over here. Thank you, Kyle, thank you, thank you. I'm doing good. I decided to stream tonight because I was too lazy to edit. So here we are, a random late night stream. Give me one second, I gotta let Steven know because I made a pot of coffee at 10.30. Steven, my coffee is ready if you wanna go fill it up for me. All right, I was like, when the coffee goes off, you are responsible for making my cup of coffee. <laughs> I knew you would, I knew you would. Thank you for making a coffee. 
for me. Yes, absolutely, madam. <laughs> absolutely, madam. I have waited so long to see this island's progress. I'm so happy tonight you are doing the stream. I quit Animal Crossing for almost a year, and the only reason why I'm back is this island's inspiration. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Kyle says, idiot husband, go get the coffee. <laughs> Y'all, oh my gosh, you are never gonna let me live last uh, live stream down, are y'all? If you missed the last live stream, my husband impersonated me <laughs> and he thinks that I call him an idiot husband. Thank you for my coffee. There you go, stupid husband. Everything's your fault, you know that, right? Oh you my suck God. at everything. Hi guys! Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, that was a really fun stream. Seriously, he's already up to no good. Why do y'all encourage him? Y'all seriously are bad. You're supposed to be on my side. And now he's like, you know, I'm just going to make Nora's life miserable. Y'all are so mean. <laughs> Stefan is my new favorite horrible gaming personality. That's what his new name is. We're calling him Stefan. <laughs> Thank you, Clover Cat. But yeah, I... I tried my best to recreate as much as I could, but also, you know, like improve some stuff. I figured since my highway obviously was a little bit different dimension wise, like I shortened it up, I was able to fit in a lot more content. So this is a good thing. We'll be able to do a lot more. Okay, I need to push this back a little bit more. There we go. So we're just gonna rebuild this. So my plan tonight, my plan tonight is to basically turn this whole entire area into like a giant boatyard. So that is the plan. And then you can go up to this raised up level and kind of like overlook it. So I think, I think that's my plan. I might be taking a lot of inspiration for this build from my friend Zara Crossing. I actually have them already linked in the stream's description. They are one of my great Animal Crossing friends. I love their islands. They're super sweet and talented, so make sure you go check them out if you have an Instagram account. You will not be disappointed. And so yeah, that's basically my plan for today. Good night, Dammy. Thank you for hanging out tonight. I mean, if you made an impression of him, I totally switched to your side. I don't even have an impression for him because I'm just that nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I do have an impression for him, but I don't remember. I don't honestly, at the top of my head, I don't know what my impression is of him, but I do it when I'm like really aggravated with him. Okay, okay, okay. now y'all are y'all are summoning him back over here. So now he is over here ready to call me out on something. Just get in a headspace where <laughs> I said something, I was completely and totally right about something, and you're just you can't admit it and you're mad about it so bring out your inner steven what what are you trying to get through your, your with this? impression of me i don't even know what my That's impression what I'm saying. I'm trying is to get in the right headspace but i'm not mad right now i know I, just imagine i'm correct about something you don't want to admit it and you're go. never correct release the husband and go i don't even know i you don't always do like this overly like and you brain don't. Dead. No, no, no. You act like I'm a brain dead caveman when you get mad at me. Because like, you are. Oh, my dead, and, and I'm right about stuff. And I'm dead. <laughs> That's what you do. Well, I didn't know what my impression was going to be, so I thank you for doing it for me. Wow. <laughs> Just remember the peanut butter incident. Yeah, remember the peanut butter incident. There you okay, go. the fact that iPad Kid remembers the peanut butter story, that means you're a true follower. My husband basically told my last live stream, he did an island tour during our, the end of last live stream, if you wanna go check it out, we were doing a DA stream. And he, <laughs> I'm gonna eat this popcorn. Uh, so anyways, he was like, I wanna do this tour and uh, this will be my impression of you. And I was like, oh great, he's gonna embarrass me or all of my followers are gonna encourage him to be bad and not behave. And that's what y'all did. Y'all are so bad. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> and y'all were encouraging him. So he did this awful, his- Spot on. <laughs> his impression. Yes, because my character is, my character is like Sonic Jesus right now. But <laughs> um, what was I getting at? I don't remember. Oh yeah, you were making fun of me. And anyway, so if you want to go see that stream. I wasn't making fun of you. I was doing a perfectly accurate impression of you. It was not accurate though. 
It was so bad. No, that's exactly what you no. sound In my head, that's exactly what you sound <laughs> uh, like. Anyway, so yeah, that was like a little bit of a summary. Okay, go away. This stream is not about you. And, uh, yeah, nothing's ever about me. It's always about you. <laughs> exactly. Right? Once he live streams, we will be on your side. Exactly. So then we can, you know, give him some payback. All right, I need to think. <laughs> go think then. All right, so what, what am I doing? But anyways, yeah, that was a summary. But thank you for doing the impression for me. <laughs> All right, what is my plan today? Oh yeah, boatyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this all decorated and going. Uh, just letting y'all know that if my character pauses for a good second or you hear like a weird dinging sound, it's because I'm injecting items into my inventory. All right, so we're gonna do utility pole right here. Lots of boats. But yeah, my, my goal for this build, okay? So my goal. When you go down through here as my person's literally Sonic running. Hi, Caddy. Welcome to the stream. I need to remove all this terraform still. But I want you to be able to like overlook and see like this nice boat yard. So that's my goal for this spot. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go back though. But yeah, that's kind of like what my plan is. So hopefully everything goes well. I haven't. I have not watched uh, Stranger Things, uh, the next or the new season yet. So please, no spoilers, because I'm still behind on it. I'm really behind. But Stephen said it's the best since uh, season one. Uh, the last season really disappointed me. So I'm. I'm hoping y'all are not gonna let me down on this. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Let's see. No, my, my character is literally just Sonic running the whole time. I mean, I do speed up my animation a little bit, like the actual video on speed builds. But like for live streams, I just keep it on because, you know, it's it's easier to work faster. So we just roll with it. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna have like an open mind, but I don't wanna get my hopes up because like the last few, I just felt really disappointed with. And I still have to catch up on some episodes before I start the new one. All right, where is my fishing rod? There it is. I am speed running. <laughs> yes, we are doing a surprise stream tonight because I'm too lazy to edit. I was gonna make this into a speed build, but then I asked myself, do I really want to be editing a video at 10.46 p.m.? No, I absolutely do not want to do that. So I was like, I would much rather hang out with my Animal Crossing uh, friends than have to edit a video. So here we are. And we're going to be doing a ginormous uh, boat yard. So that's what we're doing tonight. I need to still do the villager cul-de-sac. I think, I think I'll have space. But as you can see, everything on my map, that is pretty much what's done. So y'all, I think I can get this island done in the next couple of days or next few days. And I accidentally deleted my island. So we've made that much progress in four days. I did not think I was gonna make this much progress. But uh, yeah, here we are. I consider this a win situation because then I can start my new themes. I have so many new islands planned. I love this water path. And I also really love Pickleton's new water path version of this. So if you do like how this water path looks, you'll love hers too. <laughs> Kyle, thank you because I was devastated about it getting deleted. I was literally gonna be like, okay, I give up. Like, I don't wanna have to rebuild all of this. I was just really frustrated, you know, because y'all have been watching me build this for like the last few streams. And y'all know that I put my heart into my builds. And this is the first time that I've really just been so happy with an island. Like, I didn't chronically restart every five seconds like I usually do. And I've been putting a lot of effort into it. And when it got deleted, I literally was crying. Like, like I know that sounds dramatic because it's just an island, but like my islands are like artwork to me and I work really hard on them. So like when your hard work gets like completely deleted, it's kind of a big deal. 
And like, I've been building this island to share with y'all. So I was so upset. But I grinded it out. Kyle above Crossing with Kyle encouraged me to rebuild it. Because I was like devastated. So if it wasn't for Kyle and my moderators for encouraging me to rebuild Slateport, we wouldn't be here. But yeah, I'm really excited about this island. I think I might relocate that volleyball court up there. I kind of do like the idea of the pool. So huge thank you to one of my followers who just suggested that because I do think that'll be a nice spot for one. <laughs> Kyle's like, I got you. <laughs> It was, it was hours of work because I'm not even kidding. I was planning to drop the dream address a few days ago. That's how much I got done off camera. So like I was ready to start my new island and that didn't happen. So uh, yeah, with that being said, we rebuilt as much as we could. And I think we're, we're on a good, you know, Good, po uh, I don't even know what I was trying to say. <laughs> I think we're in a good par uh, part of the build now. <laughs> so much is rebuilt. There we go. Words, Nora, words, Nora. I need some coffee. I need to drink some more coffee. I've been, I've been like not sleeping good at night and it's probably because I drink coffee at 10 p.m. at night, but no one can judge me because I'm a parent, okay? But uh, yeah, ooh, that looks so good right there. Look at the windmill. I think I can fit another one over there. Maybe we'll do that. I wanna like frame in with a bunch of storefronts over here. It's gonna be like a really big boat area. Maybe we can fit in some sort of a restaurant. I don't know. It is, it's 10 p.m. over here. My child just went to bed, so I was like, oh, if she's gonna go sleep, maybe I'll get a live stream in. And here we are. And of course, I'm too lazy to edit that too. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the stream. All right. So, more storefronts. What color is this one? Actually, I think I want that color to be my bottom level. We're going to do a storefront right here. I think my plan is to frame basically this whole entire place with uh, storefronts. I wanted to have like a lot of, you know, I don't know what the word is that I'm trying to go for, but I just really want a lot of buildings over here. And plus my design slots are all filled up. So uh, this is gonna be my best bet with builds. <laughs> so I'm hoping if you're in a position like me and you don't have a ton of design slot space, maybe, maybe this will give you an option that you can go off of. Oh, cool, uh, cool blue 71. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the stream. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad you enjoy my content. What kind of island are you building? All right, let's see. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm trying to decide if I should do like some sort of a door, like kind of entry, kind of like what this one has over here. Should we do another one? Like, should I pull this down a little bit and do another kind of door thingy. I don't even know what to call it. What do y'all think? Because remember, we'll be looking out through over here. Y'all let me know. I'm not sure if I want it too matchy, you know? But would it make more sense? I guess that's where I'm trying to go at. This is just like gonna be a ginormous boat yard, so. That's what I'm kind of going for. Are you talking about the pergola? Cause I'm gonna be using that, but I don't know if I have room for it over here. Cause we still got, we got a lot of decorating to do still. But I'm thinking if I do a different color to mimic like, you know, the doors right here, it would work. Like it'd look like another building. Wood item. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I have no idea. There's another wood looking item that kind of looks like a door. I've been discovering so many items I did not know existed lately. All right, we're gonna do boat right there. Lots of boats. But yeah, I think we, okay. If y'all say we'll do another door, another door is what we'll do. All right, I'm trying to get some more boats. Tons of boats. Hi, Christian. Welcome to the stream. How are you? 
It's behind the hanging lights. Are you talking about this thing? Because I'm going to be using that. Like, I was thinking of doing another one, but different colors over there. All right, where's my boats? I wish we had different boat styles. This is a magic switch. All right, where is my other? I need a different color. I know I complain about this every live stream, but I really wish we had an option to see like a little miniature picture of like what color the item is. Next to the storage shed? I have no idea what you're talking about. The storefront? <laughs> is that what you're talking about? I have no idea. All right, more boats, more boats. I do love this boat item though. Where is my other boat? I'm looking for a certain color. Okay, the storefront. I was like, which one? Oh yeah, me too. The storefront is like one of the best items in my opinion that we got from 2.0. But I wish we got more items kind of like it. You know, like other, other styles, maybe like, you know, a Japanese front store. Okay, that's not a boat. <laughs> that is not a boat, Nora. I was like thinking of storefront and grabbed that. But you know, like other styles would have been nice. Y'all give me one second. Get out of there, Sunny. My cat is like trying to fit herself inside of this basket vase thingy that I have. <laughs> now she's looking at me through it. I wish y'all could see this because my cat is totally being adorable right now. All right. Oh yeah, I mean, I deleted my island accidentally and as you can see, I'm moving a lot quicker. So placing items are easier with it. All right, more boats. Hi, Jessica, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a fabulous night. All right, more, more boats. How many boats is too many? Asking for a friend, cause this is gonna have a lot of boats. Um, all right, where is... Where is my other one? I am in Louisiana, so I have no idea what time it is for y'all. Yes, V is one of our newer mods and has been such a great addition to the team. Yeah, never too many boats on a coastal theme, in my opinion. We're gonna push this down a little bit. My Discord server is linked in the uh, stream's description, and also Nightbot has a command. If for some reason the link doesn't work, uh, one of my moderators can get you a fresh one because Nightbot does not like them for some reason. Yes, new moderators are always great. All right, I'm gonna push this down just a little bit more. I need to get some more decoy ducks. We need more decoy ducks. Just realize that. I'm obsessed with decoy duck. I swear I've been putting them throughout the island like crazy. They're basically my seagulls. So I'm going crazy with them. All right, let's 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 go ahead and go from there. Let's see. Thank you, Queen V. You the best, you the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, Steven is horrible reviews, by the way. Get out of here. You can't even figure out how to work a mod ticket. <laughs> um, which deck? Are you talking about this one? I got this before the stream started, but I'll go ahead and add the MA when the uh, stream is over. I am definitely going to be using the little rubber duckies for a certain spot on my island. Don't worry, I did not forget about those. Those ones are so cute. Get a snack for stream. Do it, do it. That reminds me, speaking of snack, I need to get another drink of my coffee. Yeah, you have no idea what to do. All righty. Ooh, what about June, Haley? June is one of my favorite tropical villagers. Or Faith, because they have like little flowers in their hair. All right, we're gonna do a, a decoy duck right there. I feel like this area over here is missing something and I just don't know what. I want it, I don't want to do another life ring because we got one right there. So maybe I'll just drop the summer shell and then we'll do another decoy duck for now. Yeah, Faith and June are adorable. So that would be, that would be one of my first picks. Oh yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that fish container before I, no! I hate it when I'm trying to pick up a different item. I pick up the complete opposite. Now I have to replace that. Uh, yeah, I wanted this to be my last tropical island for a while because I'm always planning to do tropical themes because they're one of my favorites. 
but I'm so excited because I think my next island theme is gonna be something around winter, I'm not sure, or fall. But, or I might shock myself and do a new Cherry Blossom City. I'm not sure what my plan is. I know I wanna do a better version of my Cherry Blossom Cities because lately I have not been able to fit all of my ideas on them. Same with my tropical themes. I feel like that's why I'm always doing those. It's like tropical and Japanese themes I'm constantly doing because I never get all my ideas out. But I'm kind of wanting to do a new Blossom City. But I might do a winter next. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm saving my Christmas themes for like closer to November-ish. Because that's when I usually put my Christmas tree up. But um, yeah, I think I want I want to do like a winter theme. Like a, not like a Christmas theme. It's just like a winter snowy island. Kind of like that island tour that we did. It was like a monotone city. And I've been really wanting to do a monotone theme. So maybe I'll do something like that next. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I don't know. I'm also like really in the mood of doing like a Tokyo theme. Or like something maybe Vaporwave like. So like those are, those are my thoughts right now. Or I might do a castle theme. We'll just see what happens. All the codes are in the video's description. I love Swamp Core Islands. Those are really fun. Oh, I need to go put another storefront down. I was like, what's missing over here? I've tried a cyberpunk city before and I just couldn't get into it. But I think a vaporwave like neon theme would be really fun. Like a neon city with lots of lights and stuff. But I'm kind of tempted on doing, like I said, the modern Tokyo theme or just like a really ultra modern city. Because like all of my Japanese themes, I've just never gotten all my ideas on there. I feel like Vaporwave is as close as I'll get to Cyberpunk. Like very, as close as I can get to it. I just think that would be so fun, like a neon city. You know, lots of lights set at nighttime. So, I mean, it is on my to-do list, like regardless. Like I definitely want to do that theme. We'll just have to see what happens, you know, like what inspires me first. All right, let's place this right here. I wanna do several fall themes, including a couple of naturals. So I have lots of ideas. It's just like, you know, what inspires me first? Cause like last year I only got, I only got one fall theme in and I did not like that. I wanted to get way more island ideas out. Oh, I did a swamp theme inspired by Louisiana cause it's where I live. A long time ago but I couldn't share the dream address because I modded the island all right let's do a little log stool right here what items do I have let's see maybe I'll do a non modded Louisiana theme eventually <laughs> Shrek theme <laughs> your character must be Shrek all right, so I think we're making great progress. The goal, the goal is to have a lot of buildings in the back. So let's go back and see. So yeah, my goal is when you pull up your camera, you just get a big view of a nice detailed boat yard. We still have a ways to go, but we're making progress. So let's go back. Oh, Kayla, I hope I said your name right. Is it Cal Kayla Layla? <laughs> Just butchered that completely. Uh, thank you for joining Discord as I butcher your name completely. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to do a really nice little lookout spot over here. I think we'll do blue storefronts up top over here. Sorry if you hear any dinging, I'm getting some items into my inventory. <laughs> Kalela. Okay, there we go. A little less butchered this time. I was like, how how come I'm struggling so much on saying this name? Oh wait, I already did blue over here. Totally spaced that. We're gonna do white then. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lola. That means a lot. Honestly, I always tell everybody, if you are going to come onto my stream, be ready for me to butcher your name completely. It don't matter how basic your name is, how easy it is to pronounce, I will find a way to totally butcher your name. So that is something you can always look forward to on my streams. Oh, Mavis, welcome to the stream. 
I wonder if, like, let's see, the clothesline pole. I wonder if this would look cute here. I wanna try it. Like, maybe the wooden one, honestly. The wooden one probably would look cuter. Let's do that. Yes, please do like the stream. It really does help me out. Sorry, I am like trying to think. All right, let's go push this a little down. I wanna see if I can fit the uh, clothesline here. <laughs> I'm used to it. So many people get my name wrong. Honestly, was I the only one who butchered it as bad as I just did? Or have people said it worse? I'm curious to know because I was like, I give up. Why am I even trying? It's just getting worse the more I try. All right, let me push this down a little bit. I think the clothesline will work good right here. I'm hoping. Kind of like fill it in a little bit more. And then I want to try to get one more windmill over here. I'm probably going to have to expand the back out a little. But we'll do that in a second. I'm trying to get more of these storefronts down. <laughs> People say it worse. Okay, well, that makes me feel a little bit better. I was like, oh my gosh, why do I even try? <laughs> I feel so bad for the people who just come on here and I'm just like, oh, hi, and I say your name completely wrong because I'm just that awful. But you are watching somebody uh, named Horrible Gaming, so just keep your standards, <laughs> keep your standards literally low. <laughs> oh, Mavis, thank you. That means a lot. Our live streams are always fun. Y'all make them enjoyable. So thank you for being here. Anna, welcome to the stream. I hope you are having a great weekend. Obviously, Doby. Doby's the best. Is that even a question? All right. I'm thinking about eventually, to answer your question, Jeff, I'm thinking about opening, like, some sort of, like, a service eventually for, like, me to come to your island and, like, give you tips and stuff. But I'm not sure yet. It's definitely in, like, the works. All right. Let's see how this looks from here. I might do a couple of more over here I need to expand the uh wood coat a little bit let's see i'm gonna place that right there we have so much to do this boat yard is gonna be worth it though i think it'll be such a nice filler it was i feel like because i'm doing a coastal theme we are kind of obligated to do some sort of a nice boat yard all right, ignore my cat if you hear her, by the way. She, every time I live stream, she does this. She wants to be part of the stream because she knows I'm ignoring her. There's been so many times when my webcam is on, I have to, like, hold her in the middle of the stream because she's like, Mom, why aren't you paying attention to me? Um, I have a modded console, so my speed animations are up. <laughs> yeah, if y'all hear her, she's just like, no one's paying attention to me right now. I'm lonely. All right, let me... Let's go see how this is looking. Okay, so it is coming along. I do think, I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep that back there with the same color. I feel like we need to make a couple improvements to the back, because this one has obviously a lot more detail, but we, we are making progress. And yes, she she's just like always trying to get intention 24 seven, especially when she knows I'm like streaming. All right, my speed animations are gonna cause a lot of item loading, by the way, so just be ready to see all that nonsense. Yeah, I think so too. I think I need to like, you know, maybe we can do the door. Like, you know how that front one has a door? Maybe we can do it a little bit different. Like right here, we'll leave it at that and start like a new color combination. I think that's what we'll do right here. But yeah, there's definitely too much of the same color. Oh yeah, she she's like upstairs now trying to knock things down. <laughs> she is mad. She's just like, no one's paying attention to me. So it's, now it's time for me to knock everything, everything down. I think we're gonna do the same color combination because like I'm doing very beachy uh, vibes. I could try out the yellow. We could try out some yellow. I'm not sure how it will look, but we'll see. Jeff, thank you. I don't know. Do we like the yellow or is that kind of... Well, it does kind of bring in the bushes that I'm using and the other yellow tones. But am I? is that kind of ruining the vibe? Because I obviously can't use every single color of the storefront because it won't match. 
What do we think? And obviously I'll switch the top one out. Don't worry. Like the white one on top, we'll remove those. Like to a different color. Do we like the yellow? Should I use the yellow too? I was thinking like if we did the yellow, we could do that solid brown one on top to kind of like, you know, break it up a little bit. I just never, I haven't really used the yellow storefront before, so I don't know if it'll work with the vibe I'm going. But I am using my main colors are blue and yellow. So that's why I'm like, maybe I'll use it. It does add a little bit of color. I think that's why I like it. All right, let me, let me finish the top. Well, we're using dark brown regardless, but I'm trying to add a little bit more color pops, you know? I'm gonna do the top with brown and we'll see how that looks. I do like the dark brown. Cause you know, it's beachy. It's not like a normal tropical theme. It's very coastal and beachy. Ooh, I do kind of like that. No problem, Kyle. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great sleep. Okay, I, I love that. The yellow is bringing in the boat over here and the life ring so I can just focus in some more yellows. And then my next combination can be maybe something else. I might continue that blue top over here and do it on the bottom. Kind of like bring it in. We'll try that out. Let's see. Are you saying maybe try out the yellow on top? Because we can do that. I just, I do like the yellow. We'll try it out. Don't worry. That's why we can try things out differently. Should I keep the light brown and white combination right there? I think it would continue breaking up. What if we did like, I don't know, blue and yellow? Would that look good? Trying out different colors is always a pain in the butt. <laughs> but we are gonna, we're gonna see what else. Hold on, let me delete some things out of my inventory to make things a little bit easier to find. All right, I am gonna try the yellow up top real fast. I don't know if I'll like it though. Let's see. Sometimes when I'm really burnt down on Animal Crossing, that is definitely not yellow. Um, I like to restart and just delete the game, you know, fresh start. It's always fun to grind for things, you know? That's why I started that no time travel island because I wanted to have a fresh start. Okay, I'm gonna do all the yellows up top and then we're gonna go for there. And yeah, treasure islands definitely help. Get all those items at once. A lot of people go to treasure islands nowadays. All right, let's see. All right, we're gonna do that. Three yellow on top, I'm gonna try that. I do like the yellow. It definitely brings out a lot of the yellow tones that I've been using throughout the island. So we're gonna do that up here. And then I don't I th know actually what color we're gonna do the bottom. Maybe the brown, like the dark one. Kind of like start introducing, you know, the dark ones over here. <laughs> Oh yeah, my speed animation, I'm so used to it being on when I'm doing builds that I have to keep it on or it just feels weird to me. All right. Hi, Marshy, welcome to the stream. Okay, so whoever suggested yellow on top, great call. I love that. Now we just need to figure out what color we're doing on the bottom. Do we bring in the brown that we see in the first level? And then we do like a blue and white next, maybe. <laughs> it does kind of remind me of Mario, doesn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, Treasure Islands, before I had a modded console, I relied on them so much. So uh, I'm, I was thankful for them, for sure. I'm trying to build us a new Treasure Island for my Discord, like a general city core one. So once Slayport is finished, I'm probably gonna take a couple of days to grind it out for us. So that is on my to-do list. I do have like a general 2.0 treasure island, but I like decorated treasure, <coughs> excuse me, decorated treasure islands. I always do decorated ones. Cause I'm extra like that. I don't know, I just like, <laughs> I like decorating them. 
So uh, we are going to be uh, doing like a general city core themed one. So that is on my to-do list. I was supposed to start it this week, but then guess who deleted their island? This this girl right here. So now we're having to redo everything. But I feel like the rebuild of Slateport, honestly, it's going well. And I kind of like it better than the original. So I think of this as a win situation, you know? Marshy, Nora, when you're free, try to check out... How do I say that? Dinkum? Is that how you say it? I've watched some videos on it. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like something I can get into. I, I saw Kato playing it the other night. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a me type of game, even though I know it's very similar to Animal Crossing. I don't know. It just no, it doesn't seem like the kind of game that I would like. I, I, for example, I've been trying to play Stardew Valley, but I'm also trash at it, so I don't really know what I'm doing. And I'm having trouble to get into Stardew Valley. Yeah, honestly, I'm looking at it this way. Uh, Sleepport is getting more content in it than it originally had. But, I don't know. I'm going to try to look into it. I'm going to probably lurk on Kato's streams for a little longer to see how she likes it. And how the gameplay keeps going. Because I just don't know how I feel about it. I, I'm like that with any new game though. I like to watch people play it until I decide if I want to get it. I'm also doing that with the game called Stray. So many of y'all are <laughs> asking me to play Stray. And I'm watching videos on it. And I do like it. I think it looks pretty fun. No, Steven, we are not playing the KFC dating simulator. Oh my gosh. I am excited. I, I like uh, scary video games. So I'm excited if Stray is scary. I honestly like that's why I was talking about Stardew though on the other stream because I just really don't know what I'm doing. So like I'm planning... I'm planning to live stream Stardew Valley, like, in the coming weeks. So y'all will just have to help me figure out how to play Stardew Valley. Like, figure out what I need to do, all that good stuff. <laughs> Pay attention to Kato, she's already turned it into a decorating game. I will definitely be lurking on Kato's streams to kind of, like, fill it out, you know? In the meantime, I will be the only one over here grinding out Animal Crossing Islands. <laughs> Oh, wow, really? Modding the, the animal to look like their own pet? I, okay, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna keep watching Kato, and then we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I just like looking at different games, like watching other people play it to kind of feel it out, you know? Yes, okay, that makes me happy, Natalie, because, like I said, I do plan to stream Stardew Valley in, like, the next uh, couple of weeks. I think my, like, general plan is gonna do, like, every Saturday will be a non-Animal Crossing game. So I think that's what my plan is, like, Saturdays will be not Animal Crossing. So, with that being said, if I cannot get Slateport progressed enough for a stream tomorrow... We'll do something different if I decide to stream tomorrow. I mean, I am trying to stick to my stream schedule of uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays, so maybe we'll do Stardew. But you gotta help me. Oh my gosh, a Spyro mod? I love it. Oh my gosh, I know. It makes no sense why they stopped supporting Animal Crossing. I agree, which makes me wonder if they're trying to put effort into maybe a surprise DLC or the next game. So that's kind of like what I'm waiting. I do think we're not going to get another Animal Crossing game on the Switch, though. So I think the next one will be on a completely new system. But it's also Nintendo. I really never know what to expect with them. You know? Because Nintendo just... I was expecting uh, no more Pokemon games. And then they gave us another Pokemon game, like, immediately after... Pokemon Legends. So I have no idea what Nintendo's plan is. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, horrible Reviews is my husband. <laughs> he's just, he's helping moderate uh, chat tonight. But uh, let's see. Where is the other? I think we got another storefront. Yes, we do. But anyways, uh, in the coming weeks too, since y'all enjoyed Steven so much on my last stream we're going to be doing some collab streams in the future as well like fall guys so if you are wanting to be a part of those type of streams he's going to be joining us on streams like that 
I have a lot of content planned. I'm just behind on it. Like, I've been so busy trying to get my child ready for school. So I'm hoping once she starts school, we can actually plan for a lot of different things. I wish people still cared about Skyrim because I've been playing so much Skyrim on my past, like, you know, personal time. But no one cares about Skyrim anymore, except me. Like, I've been modding it and having, like, the time of my life. I'm, like, the only one playing Skyrim probably right now. <laughs> but uh, Steven's been trying to get me to play some Fallout New Vegas. So he's, like, constantly writing, are we going to play Fallout New Vegas tonight? So uh, I'm going to be trying that out. I've been watching Kato to answer your question, Sarah. I'm watching her play it first to kind of, like, you know, feel it out. Yeah, we definitely, that is a great example, Haley. It's a love-hate relationship with uh, Nintendo because I just don't know what to expect. <laughs> I am a huge Skyrim nerd. Like, I've been binging it so much. And it's just like, I just don't know if it's worth bringing onto my channel because, I don't know, it's such an old game. I don't, I feel like just nobody would watch. I am, however, wanting to finally play, uh, Breath of the Wild. I played a little bit of it, but I don't remember what I was doing, so I'm probably just going to delete it and start over. And yes, I he's wanted me to play New Vegas like so bad because it's his all-time favorite game. And I just, I'm like, look, I am going to play it, but I might, right now, I'm too busy, you know, playing Skyrim. <laughs> too busy to hang out with him. Too cool for him. Got to get my Animal Crossing groove on. Uh, I, I know I'm probably going to get some hate for this, but I do not like Sims 4. My favorite Sims game is 2 and 3. Those are the only Sims games that I have been personally able to enjoy. Every time I try to play Sims 4, I just can't get into it. So, I'm probably like the only one who thinks that. Maybe there's somebody else there who thinks it too, like I do, but I personally feel like Sims 3 was the best. <laughs> I just can't get into 4. I don't know why. I, something about Sims 3. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I, we're, I'm going to be playing some Fallout regardless. I mean, I have to because I want to do an apocalyptic theme. So he's like waiting for me. Yes. Okay. So I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that about the Sims. Yeah. Two and three. I really like them. Yeah. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like three was my one of, I don't maybe it's just because it was one of my favorite ones and it's just like it was the first Sims game I actually put a lot of effort into maybe that's why I don't know what it is but it's like I just can't get into it you know but yeah Sims 5 already I guess Sims 4 has been out for a while I haven't been keeping track I would definitely stream Skyrim if enough of y'all wanted to see it I modded it completely I've been doing a new playthrough. Um, it's been really fun. I've like restarted Skyrim so many times and I still have yet to finish the actual story because I've spent so much time modding it. Like I have not gone through the whole vanilla story yet but I've because I've restarted so many times. I think I'm gonna remove this. Oh, I know, that's the same with Bethesda though. Skyrim has so many mo or, uh, bugs Nobody fix them or improves anything except the modding community. Oh, look, it's finally the first Bitcoin, uh, you know, bot that I've had in a while. Why is the, Why are they always trying? At least it's not, you know, like the nasties on the nasty bots. All right. I think I'm going to do a storefront right here. All righty. Let's see. Y'all report that bot if you still see it on your end, too. But I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Steven, did I delete it? Are we... Okay, cool. He's monitoring the stream with me tonight. It's going to be a shorter stream, by the way, y'all. Like, I'm probably going to be streaming for an hour and a half at most. Just because it's super late. But I'm determined to try to get most of this build done. Yeah, there's just so many bugs. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Alex. At least it's not that. I, it could be worse. Or better, depends on how you look at it. <laughs> He's, uh, Steven's like, or better, just depends how you look at it. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm starting my only OnlyFans. No. <laughs> All right, y'all, what's the next color combination? So we got dark brown and blue.
then like that beachy brown and white. And then we repeated the dark brown, but with yellow. So should I do like beachy brown and blue next? Oh my gosh, yeah, I get so many annoying bots on my streams all the time. I mean, we all get them. I'm just like, really? But it's like, you know, it's better than me thinking that they're an actual person because one in one stream, I thought that it was an actual person and I got made fun of. My followers are mean to me. <laughs> and uh, one of my followers, she just went to bed, Dammy. She was there on that stream and she never lets me live it down. Thank you back, thank you, thank you. I kinda like the windmills too in the back. Like I just feel like it really does add, you know, like a little something something. But I'm thinking we're gonna do like blue and that beachy brown color. Oh no, I thought my uh, game froze for a second. Sorry if it bugged out. All right, let's see. <laughs> I swear if my husband was the reason why I get all those bots, I would kick his butt. All right, let's get um, a coconut tree. Y'all give me one second. I need to refresh um, my music. And then I also need to take a drink of my coffee. My poor computer. It's trying to freeze. Bear with me, y'all. I'm let my computer think for a second. Hey, Steven, is my stream glitching on your end? Yep, a little bit. Okay, it looks like it's a YouTube issue. We're gonna let my computer think for a second cause like YouTube is bugging out. Okay, it looks like we're good now. I don't know why YouTube has been so buggy lately. This is just the windmill item. I think we got it in 2.0. All right, so I'm just like letting my computer think for a second, hold on. My computer is like going nuts. Y'all give me one second. Having some minor technical difficulties. I might have to get Steven to look over here. <laughs> Steven, half of my computer, now, looks... half of my computer screen went black. <laughs> He's coming over here to like check on it real quick. Um, let's see, I don't know. Well, it's not glitching, no, no. no, it's not glitching, which is good, but do you see my issue? I can't build when it's like that. I'm having Steven over here look. So don't mind me just having technical difficulties. I tried alt tab and it did not work. You need to try task manager. Let's see. One second y'all, we're trying to see what's going on. Okay, he fixed it, you're the best, thank you. I don't know what that was. Like when YouTube was glitching, half of my screen went black, okay. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. All right, I think we're okay, but now my, does it look good on y'all's end? Y'all let me know, cause it's kind of like buggy looking on my end. Might have to redo my capture card stuff. No, it's fine. Is it? Because come look at my computer. Sorry y'all, I did not expect to have technical difficulties. Are you gonna come over here and look? Yeah. Okay, my husband is looking at this one more time. Do you see this? What about it? It's kind of fuzzy looking. It is on your end, but not on my. It's not on the main thing? Okay, I'll just deal with it on my end. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, it looks like we're good. Okay, I'm glad it looks good on y'all's end. It's kind of fuzzy for me, but if it looks good okay uh, on y'all's end, then we're good. Which giant tank items we're at? Where do y'all think we should do that? Let me know after all that chaotic stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out what we were doing. What were we doing? All right. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Like every time YouTube freaks out, it freaks my computer out and then my computer goes crazy. But at least, it looks like everything's back to normal. I mean, on my end, the, the graphics are like really fuzzy, but as long as it's good for y'all. Thank you, Tanya. Thank y'all so much for being here today, by the way. All right, I think I'm gonna do the next storefront about right here. So that gives us some, you know, wiggle room to do like a little decoration. So I'm gonna fill this in probably about right here. No, maybe like about right there. Alrighty, 
And Els, Rats, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're getting some inspiration from today's stream, even with the chaos that's been going on. <laughs> oh, like behind the storefronts, is that what you're talking about? Because yeah, we're definitely gonna be adding a lot more behind these. I'm just trying to get like the main front uh, done. What else do we have in here? Do we have any more boats? I don't think we do. I know I wanted to add like another door like thing like we have right there, which I'll do that probably actually right there. Thank you so much, uh, Kiss to Cry. It's been a really fun theme. Like it's the first island that I've actually been really happy with in a long time. And that says a lot because I usually delete my islands like every other day, you know, I'm just like super picky. So the fact that this has been the first island I've been able to commit to in a very long time, it makes me happy. Thank you so much, Kiss to Cry, for subscribing. I can't believe we're so close to 30K subs. I have a lot planned for us once we hit that milestone. So if you have not subbed to me yet. What is your problem? What, yeah, what is your problem? Don't you just like being on an unprofessional streams like you're seeing today? All right. What else do we have? Another decoy duck. I don't know how many decoy ducks I've used on this uh, island, but y'all let me know if you find like a hundred of them because I've been using them everywhere. But yeah, 30K, we're gonna have like, we need to have an island party. Like, I, even if it's an unfinished island. Thank you so much for the subscription. I can't read the name because my my screen is so blurry. <laughs> but thank you for the subscription. Literally, the screen on my end is blurry from when my computer was freaking out. So I'm glad it's not for y'all. So it's really hard to read and things. And I'm blind as a bat. So like add that to somebody who needs to wear glasses when your computer's like this. I can I can hardly read what, what the words are for these items because of how my screen is. <laughs> Maddie, thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. I can read the chat perfectly fine. At least the chat's not blurry. Ooh, do we like this? I mean, I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get to match into where the yellow tones are. Another Bitcoin bot, are you kidding me? <laughs> I think it's the same one or like they make different accounts. I don't know, did we did we ban the last bot? I thought we did. I thought we did that. Should we do a different color for the doors right here? Or does it blend? I think it kind of like brings out the warmth of the yellow above. So maybe I'll keep it for that reason. Y'all let me know. Yes, thanks you again, Maddie for the super chat. Thank you, Maddie, again. Oh, the my, okay, so my, my super chat took that long to process through OBS, but thank you so much. Um, all right, did I, I guess I never got a coconut tree through all that chaos when my computer was freaking out. So I guess I'll get another coconut tree. All right. Honestly, tonight for being such a random late night stream, we didn't get as many bots as I expected. Oops, I did not mean to do that. So it could have been worse. Okay, so we might actually do a hardwood tree over here. Thank you, Maddie. It really does mean a lot. The support on the channel really does help. So I'm making a giant boatyard area on Slateport to kind of fill up some space to answer your question. <laughs> no, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want any more bots tonight. <laughs> I do. I want to find some love. <laughs> Stop it. My husband's like, I want more bots. I need to find some love. I also have a lot of dirty bots on my stream. Then I change to YouTube tags and I see less or no more dirty bots. Oh, I'll have to try that. Honestly... I mean, it's not as bad tonight, but it does get annoying sometimes. Thankfully, y'all, like, I have such great moderators. They usually delete them pretty quickly. Thanks, Nora. I'm the best. <laughs> Except Steven. He's not, he's not worthy. Oh, no. 
Okay, I was like, oh, you'll be able to see that hardwood tree behind there. You can't even notice it. Like, why did I even plant that there if you can't even see it? All right, I want to have like some sort of greenery going on. So maybe I'll try a palm tree over here. Maybe if I did a full grown one, you'd notice it better. Let's see. You better be able to see this. Let's see. First stream I can watch at a normal time as an Australian. Oh, I'm so glad my bad sleep schedule helps you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I usually stream like, you know, at the weirdest times because I don't sleep. So I'm like the only streamer who probably does that. You know, you never know with me. Am I gonna be streaming at a normal time? Or probably not. Probably not. Or am I gonna somehow magically be on the correct time zone? You'll never know. <laughs> I technically, my brain is on Australian time zone. So for the most part, I, I guess I should just move to Australia, you know, since that's what my brain decides to be on for the most part. No problem, Claire. Oh, I thought you were going, baby. Oh, maybe you are. Baby bedtime done. My kiddo is taking after normal's terrible sleep habits. You're welcome. I'm so sorry. Yeah, my child thankfully went to bed at a decent hour. So I'm just like soaking up the fact that I'm not, you know, stressed out every five seconds. Hi, Dawn. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's been a really fun theme. I think I might just like do some sort of like a rooftop sitting area. Do I even want to put the effort in? I'm planting a tree there. I don't even think you can see the tree. Let's see. I'm gonna go up. Steven, stop trolling my chat. I'm not. I'm trying to make the Aussies feel welcome. <laughs> stop making all of it upside down because they live down under. Yeah, they get the joke, but I'm not. Uh, this is a coastal theme. So if you have been following, if you've been following my streams as my person, person literally is Sonic running, um, this is kind of like what the vibe is. So I'm doing a very coastal, summery, beachy town. So that's kind of like what the vibe is. A little bit different. Um, all my villagers are kind of a mess. I don't even know. Oh, I guess I do have all my villagers that I want. Those are the villagers that I chose for sleep work. All right. Oh, Claire, I'm so sorry. Well, hopefully, hopefully everything goes well tonight. I appreciate you being here. I know, you know, things can get chaotic sometimes. I do like coastal themes as well. It's one of my new favorite uh, tropical themes to do. Oh, thank you, Jeff. It's been a really fun theme. It's also been very difficult for me because I usually don't do themes like this. So I'm kind of like going out of my comfort zone, but I really wanted to do some sort of like a coastal vibed island. So here we are. I might go ahead and move the second windmill down a little bit. Cause that tree, I mean, I want the palm tree back here. I'm just pushing it. Can I push it down a little? I guess not. But does it look okay like that? Let's go see. I mean, as a parent, like, yeah, life is always chaotic. You never know what to expect. Okay. <laughs> Steven's in the back. Life is like a box of chocolates. Okay, I do, I do kind of like that right there. But, yeah, I think I might leave it like that. Yeah, I decided to do a last minute live stream because I'm too lazy to edit a video tonight. So I figured it would be a lot more enjoyable to hang out with y'all than to just sit there for several hours stressed out because I need to get a video out and it's like late enough as is. So I figured live stream would be a lot more enjoyable and I don't have to edit. And the brown stuff is never chocolate. Okay, this time it wasn't Nora that brought out poop. I did not bring out poop. Okay, I swear if we end up talking about poo and cheese on this stream, because that usually happens on every live stream, it is not my fault. Blame Claire. All right, let me let me go ahead and now work on this next part. I think we're gonna do blue on the bottom. Okay, as I start placing that, that is definitely not blue. But I think that's what I'm. I think we're gonna do blue. Yeah, let me see, where is blue? All right, it's right there. 
blue and then the brown one maybe at top or maybe white maybe i'll do the white one on top to bring in some more of that beachiness let's see we're gonna do another hide the hot sauce for safety she's asleep right now so if she wakes up in the middle of the night mad at us for talking about cheese and she heard that i mean it's not my fault she's listening in on our conversation <laughs> I was prepared to finish one of your old streams until I fell asleep and then I saw you were live. Such a pleasant surprise. Me too, because I was not expecting to stream tonight. So it was a surprise for myself as well. I was honestly super tired and I was like, I could, I could just make a pot of coffee and mess my sleep schedule up a little bit just before my kids start school. Get in, you know, a few more uh, late night streams before I have to be forced on a schedule 24 seven. Like how gross. I'm gonna have to wake up every morning and be a normal person. I don't wanna be a normal person. Like, that's just so not fun. But it's gonna have to happen. <laughs> but it's cheese. <laughs> Hi, Trisha. Uh, what inspired this build? Well, I really wanted to have a giant uh, coastal, like, port area on my, you know, island. And then my friend Zara Crossing, of course, definitely played a huge role in Spo on it. And then, um, I thought doing like a little raised walkway in front of it would kind of give it a little bit more, I don't know, height? <laughs> I don't know what the word is, texture. I just thought it was a nice view. Oh my gosh, another one. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I swear, it looks like the same one. Oops, I did not mean to do this. It was Claire. We are definitely making progress and we need more boats. All the boats. But I thought it would be a really nice transition for this spot right here. Because, you know, we got water. And I don't want to continue the water throughout the rest of the island. Because I want to do my villager cul-de-sac. So I figured this would be a great way to kind of, like, finish off the water code, too. Like, make it an easier way to transition from it. Because I feel like when you're using water codes like this, it's really hard to transition from them. So I thought if I did something like this, it would just be easier to blend it out, you know? Oh, I hate blue cheese. I cannot do blue cheese whatsoever. There was like this one cheese that I tried at Trader Joe's and I'm pretty sure it was a blue cheese. And I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever tried in my entire life. You know that meme that when the guy says like, oh, my day has been ruined. That's me with blue cheese every time I try it. <laughs> Just because you were once the owner of this channel doesn't mean you can lie, Steven. Yeah, you call him out on his, uh, you know, his stuff, Claire. I always have to deal with him. It feels great to have somebody else keeping him in line. All right, we're going to do another boat right there. <laughs> They're all like pointing fingers at each other in the chat right now. We're just like, you know, lurking and watching it happen. Ooh, I love Gouda, especially on my grilled cheeses. Yum. Why did I just sound like the apple? What's, oh no, the red lobster commercial the way I said yum all right do I change these to a different color maybe a different shade let's see what other shades does the storage thingy come in I I don't really see well we could do another the brown one but I don't want it too matchy the bluish one kind of has a little bit of yellowish. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was like, Red Robin, yum. <laughs> the way I said that. <laughs> I haven't been to Red Robin in years. I think, didn't they have like this kid's Sunday that was like supposed to represent like a, uh, dirt with gummy worms? Or is that Applebee's I'm thinking of? But I remember always wanting that. My mom would like never get me it. Remember when we had Applebee's? Oh my gosh, yes, I totally forgot about that. So like, like I don't even think, was it like three years ago? Well, that it was longer than that. We had to go up to, where was that at? Like, Minnesota. Minnesota? We went up to Minnesota for like a family thing. It was my great grandfather's funeral. Yeah, it was like, it was for a funeral. And we were staying at, I don't even know where we were. It was like this random small town. But the only, <laughs> the only place to eat there was an Applebee's and we, the first time in, you know, his dad was paying for it because he got a discount because of his job. So the first time we ate, they were like, oh cool, we're eating at Applebee's. And then we ate the next day at Applebee's and we're like, oh cool, Applebee's again. Yeah, we're like, oh cool, Applebee's again. And then we went there the third day for Applebee's and we're like, oh cool, 
Applebee's. Applebee's. <laughs> and then we went in there another day, and all of us were like, oh, cool. I hate Applebee's. I hate Applebee's. <laughs> I, I, I ate too much Applebee's that week because it was the only place, and it's not like we could cook because we were in a hotel. We were, I was like, I never want to eat at Applebee's it again. Was a small town, like the only yeah, it was like the only had restaurant had. there. <laughs> so, like, and then there was like a grocery store, and it's not like we, they had anything that, you know, that was motel friendly. Yeah. Oh, cool. Applebee's. Literally, I was like, I'm so sick of Applebee's. I was so tired of it. They do have a really good quesadilla and cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember what I got. I think I got burgers. I don't even remember, but so sick of Applebee's. My Even my father-in-law was like, I am so sorry, y'all, but we're going to Applebee's again. Hey, free food is still best food. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, we, it's like you can't complain because it was free. So, like... We didn't want to seem ungrateful, but I was just like, I was telling Steve and I was like, I'm so sick of Applebee's. It was like the only restaurant they had. So like miserable. I haven't been <laughs> back to an Applebee's since. Yeah, we haven't gone back to an Applebee's since and it's been like several years. Now, I think we went to the only restaurant we've gone to in a while. Wasn't it Outback, the most recent restaurant we went to? Yeah, we went for your birthday. We went for my birthday to Outback. I do like Outback. But, like, nothing else since. Real authentic Australian o Obviously, food. it's authentic Australian food. <laughs> if I mean, all the Australians here can agree. Authentic. <laughs> all right. I am trying to make these party lights behave, and they're not behaving. So, bear with me as I, like, make these work. But, uh, I don't know. I've been really wanting to go get Mexican food lately. Really want to go get Mexican food. Maybe. I don't want barbecue. He's been wanting to go get barbecue food for like ever. And I'm just like, I don't care about barbecue like you do. Oh my God. <laughs> I live in Australia and I've never heard of Outback. Outback claims that they're authentic Australian food, but they're not. Hey, that Trisha is just lying. <laughs> they actually have an Outback on every corner of every shoe. <laughs> Outback on every corner. Um... Yeah, it's a restaurant that pretends to be Australian, kind of like how Taco Bell pretends to be Mexican. All right, enough, <laughs> enough with all of the slander. It's not true. Taco Bell is not authentic Mexican food, Stephen, no matter how hey, much you eat it. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's like know. obsessed with Taco Bell, even though it just destroys your gut. He's just like, it's worth it. I'm like, no, if you get that sick from eating a fast food, it is not worth it. It's not worth the pain. But I do say the same thing about ice cream, and yet I still eat it. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I love fried onions. Yum. So bad for you, but so good. They just use an Australian guy for the voiceover in their commercials. So, obviously, if they get the Australian guy, it means it's authentic. Right? Just, you know, it makes sense. Y'all are just wrong. They're authentic. All their booths and chairs are like hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Everything's upside down and out back. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but I do like Outback a lot. I do. It they have a good they have good onions. <laughs> there is no such thing as a burrito in Mexico. <laughs> I honestly it I it's like I don't know. I like Taco Bell, but it's like I have to be in the mood for it. All right, let's see. I'm trying to see where we're at. Literally every steak I've ever had from Outback has been medium well. I like mine just slightly less alive than when it moves. I like barbecued um, charcoal for my steaks. And you think I'm joking, but I'm, I'm being serious. Like I, I like my, my steaks like literally like charcoal. And every, my whole family makes fun of me for it, but that's the only way I like it. If there's like any hint of pink on like, you know, the meat in general, I won't eat it. And then my family tells me like, look, if you're gonna eat it this way, why don't you just go eat some charcoal? I'm like, I am. That's what I'm eating right now. But yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, Nora, no. I'm sorry, but that's the way I like them. Y'all can't, you can't bully me for the way that I like my steaks, okay? Yeah, we <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a is this the same? Is this the same bot? How many how many uh Bitcoin bots today are we gonna get? <laughs> yes, I know. 
I, you can't chew that, okay? But I can, so. <laughs> Yo, don't make fun of me for the way I like my steaks. It's mean. No, but my family, they always make fun of me because like whenever we have like special family events and my father-in-law is like making steaks, he's like, well, he's like, I know what Nora wants. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like rubber for steaks, okay? I know I have an issue. Yes, I get it. But it's just the way I am, okay? You're, and my name is Horrible Gaming and I like horrible steaks. It just makes sense. I'm trying to find my fish drying rack. There it is. I just don't like pink meat. Yes, it makes me nauseated. Like one time when I first came down here and I met my husband's parents for like the very first time, they made, I think it was like a roast, right? No, it was chili. No, 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 not the chili. The first time I had the meat that your mom cooked, it was like this roast. I don't even, I think it was like a roast and it was so pink and raw. It wasn't raw. No, it was, it was like, I was so nauseated. And he's just like, he's like, Nora, you're trying to get on my parents' good side. Okay, okay, okay. So there was, there was like, back up a little bit. I had just gotten out of the Navy and we were moving back down here and we didn't have a place to stay yet, right? So my folks were letting us stay, you know, at the house and they'd only met Nora once, you know? And she was the longest relationship I ever had, you know? So they were just kind of like, oh, you better be nice <laughs> to my son. Story time. Yeah. Oh yeah, we always go on story time on the streams. Get ready for that if you're new to my channel. It will be crazy uh, story time. Like, you know, sometimes we talk about the time we saw a dookie inside of Walmart. Peanut butter stories. Peanut butter stories. I mean, Creepy you never know. know my daughter's name. Yeah, yeah, you just never know what you're gonna expect <clears throat> on my streams. But anyways, yes, yeah, so his parents, would, would they make like this? Nora, why is your trackpad so disgusting? What, what have trackpad? you done to this computer? What trackpad? This, all of it. Why is there stickiness on your computer? Oh, I put a grilled cheese on. <laughs> Why? This, oh my God. Come on, everybody. I'm about to... He's mad at me because I used my, my laptop as Seriously? a grilled Why cheese plate. Plates, you animal. Because I didn't want to wash the dishes today. <laughs> he just called me an animal. <laughs> so, okay, but a laptop makes a really good dinner plate sometimes when you're too lazy to go do the dishes. Yeah, a thousand dollar dinner plate. Okay, living the fancy life. Okay. No, move yourself. That's disgusting. What the? What is wrong with you? You're t you're acting like I'm some kind of animal. You are. I spent good money on this. I thing. I spent good money on this thing. <laughs> All right. In the mean, brought to you by Grilled Cheese Laptop. <laughs> I'm disappointed. You tell us. Oh no, my computer's doing the thing again. How'd you fix That's that? What you get because you put grilled cheese everywhere. That's probably why. My computer is freaking out because I used it as a dinner plate. Okay, so now my computer screen went like half black. I wish y'all could see this because like it's like freaking out. It's your fault because you tried to clean my dinner plate. All right. No, no, no. Don't cancel out. I know. I'm, I'm trying to see what's causing this. Uh, probably. I don't know. Like, yeah, it might be the grilled cheese. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. Exposed. Stop exposing my eating habits to the world. Eating off your trackpad is not... <laughs> Okay, y'all are mean to me. I would recommend paper towels. I recommend paper towels. literally anything but eating on your laptop. It was a last resort. I forgot that I did it until you brought it up. Okay. Just Last use paper resort? plates. I don't have any paper plates. Why would I do that when I have a perfectly nice little, like, you know, spot on my laptop to put a grilled cheese on? It's not what she ate fit and curvy. It's how she ate it. I'm not saying, oh, don't eat grilled cheese or whatever. I'm saying don't eat on a laptop. My, he's judging me because my laptop was my dinner plate. My DIY dinner plate. Now, what were you talking about before you accused me of using my Accused laptop? You. you disgust me. <laughs> He's so upset that he doesn't even want to talk about the story time anymore because of how I ate a grilled cheese on my laptop. Honestly, I didn't even notice that there was any crumbs on there. So they, it wasn't a crumb. It was sticky. I don't, maybe that's also from the cookie, too. I ate some cookies earlier, so I. Oh wait, yeah, it was from the cookie. If it was sticky, if it was sticky, it was definitely the the chocolate chip cookies I made, that made my laptop all sticky. Oh, next time I'm gonna use <laughs> the laptop. Definitely keeps it warm. Why? I don't even have to microwave or reheat the cookie. It I just. Swear to God, if you break that laptop, <laughs> I'm not giving you a new one. 
The heat and oil from a grilled cheese are definitely not good for a trackpad, Nora. It's a good thing I never used the trackpad. <laughs> yes, a cookie too. Okay, y'all, okay, enough about the judging of me and my poor eating habits, okay? Yes, I eat rubber steaks, and yes, my laptop is occasionally a uh, dinner plate, all right? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I didn't have any, I do have some milk, but it's almond milk. And I can't drink dairy, but yet I still eat ice cream. So there's also that. But no, I didn't have any milk with it today. <laughs> Not at all. Marshy, are you implying that I need a diaper? <laughs> oh no, I think my, my stream is trying to freeze up, y'all. My computer is just going nuts today. Let me redo my capture card. I think we froze. Let's see. You know, if worst case scenario, if we uh, if we have to end the stream, at least we got a good a good amount in. But I'm trying to see if we are good. Give me one second. Can you undo my capture card and replug it in? So I think I think YouTube hates me today. Give me one second, y'all. I'm trying to fix it real quick. He's fixing my capture card. But yeah, uh, good times, good times. This is the first stream I've had in like forever though that it's actually not behaving. I think it doesn't like me being productive. I think it doesn't like that you eat on the laptop. Probably not, probably not. All right, let me plug this back in and we'll see if that's what did it. Worst case scenario, if, uh, if I have to end the stream, I apologize. I did not expect to have technical difficulties. Activate, let's see, there we go. Is it working now for y'all? Let me know if it's still working. It, that's what I get for using my computer as a grilled cheese plate. It should be working. Go check on your computer, make sure it's working. Well, thankfully I'm still planning to stream for another 30-ish minutes, so we should be good. <laughs> and stop blaming my stream not working because I used it as a dinner plate. That was a one-time thing. It's not like I do it every day. Once is <laughs> Someone please donate so Nora can buy some paper plates. <laughs> I'm pinning that. Y'all are so mean to me. <laughs> when I open, f when I get a P.O. box for y'all to send me presents, I swear if everyone sends me paper plates. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then of course, you know, through all the chaos, we get another bot. Oh, this stream has been chaotic and crazy, okay? What a fun stream, though. And y'all are mean, okay? I don't have any paper plates right now. <laughs> it's not my fault. And I'm on, like, my last roll of paper towels. So I can't really use those either. So y'all are just gonna have to deal with me. Alright, now through all this chaos, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. A super chat $10 to Nora so she can buy paper plates. Y'all, okay, but like, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I will forget that I even have them. They want you to buy the Bitcoin so you can buy plates. That's why we keep getting the bot because they know, they know I need the paper plates right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are so mean to me, but I love y'all. What she'd end up doing is buying another laptop to use as a- Yeah, why would I do that when there's perfectly fine laptops out there that would make a great dinner plate? <laughs> y'all okay we're gonna be productive we're not gonna bully me with my my weird habits okay all right i know i know i'm a little bit funky over here but we we are gonna just you know forget the fact that i abuse my laptop i don't mean to it's just the way i am all right, let's see. Do I have any more party lights? I'm really obsessed with party lights, so I need more. I'm gonna send you a custom plate that says for grilled cheese sandwich use. <laughs> Honestly, I do wonder what y'all are gonna send me and also, you know, what if what wonderful things I'll open the P.O. box to eventually. But I swear when I open up a P.O. box, if y'all send me a bunch of paper plates, you will you will hear it from me. <laughs> I'll be stocked up on paper plates probably for the rest of my life. Imagine baby Nora grows up and did the same on the laptop and Nora would be like, <laughs> I'd be like, good, that's exactly what the laptop is for. That's why I have bug friends in my house on Animal Crossing. 
because I just, you know, my poor cleaning habits. All right. Oh, speaking of roaches. Oh, yeah, like the, the toy one. That'd be really cute. We need to do it. Okay, question. Do I keep the blue doors over there or do I swap them to the neutral tone ones like we have? Or the weird, I don't even know what color to call it. It was like a brownish color. Do I swap those or does it work? I'm just wanting to get some clarification on that. Okay, someone said use the tank item. Is that what it's just called, tank? I'm gonna see what colors we got. Ooh, they got, we got a white one. Maybe I'll, I'll grab that. I'll get a couple of those and see how they look. All right, I'm gonna fill in this a little bit more, but I'm trying to get basically this to frame the whole area in, you know? Okay, maybe I can do the tank right here because we're about to do like, you know, a little bit of a angled sort of transition. I'm gonna try it right there, like two of them. I know I have two of them in my inventory. I'm just gonna try to see where they're at. Did I just go past them? Okay, there they are. Uh, yeah, my modded switch just lets me inject all the items as fast as I want. So that's how they're just like, you know, magically appearing. Let's see. I don't know if I like it there, but what if we did it behind it? <laughs> we'll definitely have some roaches then. Maybe I'll do one like probably over here or like behind here too. I just need to expand my terraform out. What am I gonna do here? I could do like back this up a little bit and do like a little small sitting thing right here. Claire, thank you so much for the super chat. Vote with your likes. If Steven is right, thumbs up. If you stand with hashtag gritting grilled cheese laptop, thumbs down. Down won't hurt her, promise. It's an interaction rated favorably by YouTube. <laughs> Y'all, okay, okay. Grilled cheese laptop, new hashtag. <laughs> I'm dead. Y'all are never gonna let me live this down because he exposed me. Hi, Pat's Patch Gaming. <laughs> Marshy sends both. Okay, are we really bringing up the grilled cheeses? I thought we were past this. I truly thought we were past this, but y'all are still going on about it. I've been exposed. <laughs> Y'all, first y'all attack me for the way I like my steaks. <laughs> now y'all are attacking me for the way that I uh, use my, you know, laptop in a non-decent way. Okay? <laughs> Scandalized. Did I actually win an argument on this for once? I think, I think you won an argument. Wow. He's now he's not gonna live it down that y'all are on his side about how I treat my laptop. <laughs> Everyone, some of y'all are sending like thumbs up, and then a lot of y'all are sending both. So it's like y'all are on both of our sides. <laughs> We're not gonna let you rest. I'm gonna go to bed tonight and I'm gonna remember this moment how y'all just betrayed me for Steven and the fact that, you know, I am slightly mean to my laptop. Slightly. Slightly mean. Not fully mean, just slightly, okay? I need to figure out what we're doing right here. I'm trying to like, maybe I'll do like a couple of barrels and then we'll do like a wooden box right here with like a plant. Do I have a wooden box? Y'all are distracting me and I can't think. <laughs> I didn't betray Nora, thank you, Marshy. Oh yes, we need to use, I keep forgetting that I have seaweed. I can use that for a, like a decoration on this island theme and I still forget about it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is probably get a plant and we'll decorate that right here. Keep it really, really simple. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this transition spot like at all. I'm just waiting for the next person that's gonna bring up the fact that I'm mean to my laptop. Keep watching the chat. I definitely wanna use the pirate bar uh, barrels. I just don't know where I want to use them yet. Maybe on the bottom level. <laughs> the seaweed looks like wet chocolate, Nora. What chocolate are you looking at? Um, all right, where is, do I have another decoy duck? Yes, I do. <laughs> 
Get out of my chat, Steven. <laughs> you made me a mod. All right, we need to get rid of Steven as a moderator. How can I plot this without him knowing? <laughs> Every, they're on your side too. Everyone's going on your side now. I need a I need a, a ban Stefan. Stefan from my chat. Wet chocolate. Can we not talk about wet chocolate? <laughs> Speaking of Taco Bell. Speaking of Taco Bell, he says. We just need to behave and y'all are not behaving. I can demote him suddenly. <laughs> y'all, y'all are bad influences on him and you encourage him. So bad. Careful, Marcy. If you sit on the fence, you can get impaled. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> The sound of wet chocolate makes me want to throw up. Same, I'm like, that's so gross. I hate the word moist too. There's just some words that should not be said. Why are you coming over here? Moist wet chocolate. Get out of here, you're so annoying. Everybody unfollows me because of that. Everybody has left the chat. Oh my gosh, he's, no, so gross. Everyone's like, ew, wet chocolate. Oh, that's just like, I don't want to hear that. Ban Stefan, ban Stefan. Okay, creating a poll. Should we ban, hashtag ban, ste, how do we spell Stefan again? I'm trying to see how y'all are, uh, okay. Stefan movement. Okay, I'm typing it in. All right. Kirby, it's whatever it's it's whatever is in your brain. <laughs> whatever you think it is, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, it's on there. We do, we do need him. And then the Bitcoin's back. I don't need paper towels. <laughs> this chat has gone so chaotic today. Okay, why is it every time I decide to do a late night stream, y'all are not behaving and then we get nothing productive done? Everyone's how many people are saying yes and no for the band Stefan movement? It, it's people. even. What the hell is all the problem? What did I do? You said what chocolate? That's what you, you did. You said it too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bitcoin is back. No, we need we need a little bit of we need a little bit of crazy. We do. We need we I think he keeps us in line, you know. Late night folks were crazy. It's like, I feel bad for all the normal people on normal sleep schedules. They're gonna come in here and be like, oh, I wonder what Nora and the gang did on their island today. And they're just gonna come onto the stream and we're just gonna hear about us talking about wet chocolate. <laughs> and I feel so bad, but at the same time, I don't. Soggy chocolate, why are y'all this way? What is wrong with you? <laughs> all right, I'm trying to be productive here. I'm trying to think. Okay, we're gonna be productive. We're gonna build a nice island and try not to think about wet chocolate. All right, let's see. <laughs> Stop talking about wet chocolate. What? My next island name, I'll, I'll name it wet chocolate if y'all don't stop. So then every time you come to visit the island, it's gonna be wet chocolate. And do you think I'm joking, but I'm not. I will name my next island wet chocolate if y'all don't stop. So every time you get to visit my island, you get greeted by that. And my character's name will be Wet Chocolate. I'm warning you now. <laughs> this being Beck. I know, how rude of them. You just put chocolate in water and eat it. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, but so on the poll, it looks like everybody's on Steven's side. Yes, yes, I have so, I have so many Australian friends and y'all are crazy. What is with y'all? What are y'all doing in Australia to make you so crazy? All right, I'm gonna do white on top. And I was thinking about doing like some sort of a sitting, maybe like a little sitting area right here. What is some good sitting area ideas? Let me, let me think. You can't name your island wet chocolate. It won't fit in the character. So we can name it wet cocoa. <laughs> wet <laughs> wet cocoa <laughs> wet cocoa is gonna be my christmas uh island name and if you if you don't know 
what we're talking about, those who know will know when they visit the island. They'll just know. All right, let me let me think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I need to figure out what what item I want to place up here. Some sitting. We need to do some sort of a sitting thing right there. I'll probably come back to it later. But that's like my goal for this spot. <laughs> that, that's so gross. No. Can we not talk about wet chocolate no more? <laughs> it's okay, so it's like, I, honestly, I'm kind of glad we're talking about the wet chocolate over, you know, usually we talk about poo on the stream. So this is, this is a step forward for us. <laughs> Good morning. I feel so bad for the people just waking up how they're coming into our stream and we're just being chaotic. No, no filters, nothing. Don't, don't Google wet chocolate. Poo and cheese. No poo and cheese. No poo and cheese right now, okay? Y'all just have no chill. This is why, this is why I don't do late night streams because y'all just go crazy. It's like, you know, at least in the morning, some of us are a little bit better. <laughs> Melted chocolate. I don't know, I don't, I don't honestly, I don't wanna know what wet chocolate is. And ask Claire. Claire's the one who brought up the wet chocolate. If anybody- She's blaming it on me. Wait, I no, no, no. We know, for, I know Claire started the wet chocolate. Wet cocoa is such an ascetic name. <laughs> so gross. All right, I am trying to figure out this spot and it is driving me nuts. I'm probably gonna come back to this spot in a second. <laughs> okay, who, <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> No Chakusi talk in the chat. Why are y'all this way? Somebody clip that Nora saying Chakusi and put it in uh... No, do not clip this. <laughs> this is a hot mess. I love it. It's y'all's fault. Oh, y'all are so bad. Um, I mean, yes, yes it is. I mean, we we usually say PG for the what most part. Is a yeah, it what, depends on what you think. Yeah, is. what is it? I mean, it's up to you in your brain what you think that is. It's a wet, hot chocolate mess. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are crazy. I feel so, I feel so bad. Marshy's like, am I so innocent? <laughs> okay, in my defense, I have a lot of crazy followers. So it is every, we can blame Claire and Steven for how today's chat has gone. I didn't do this. I'm just writing on y'all's piggy bag. No, no, no. You, you are, you are part of this. <laughs> the laughing too hard, not gonna lie. Why are y'all this way? Honestly, why are you this way? <laughs> I feel so bad for everybody who's gonna wake up. They're gonna be like, oh, what did we, what did they do on Horrible Gaming's live stream? And then they're gonna see the chaotic, you know, experience we've had on today's stream. You know, it's just been beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tanya, for the subscription. I'm so glad the chaos let you join. <laughs> Why did you do that? We're not normal over here. <laughs> Think over your decision. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm swapping an item over here and I'm trying to get the idea of wet chocolate out of my brain. <laughs> Hi, Al. Welcome to the chaotic live stream. The Applebee's to cheese to chalk pipeline. <laughs> I feel like Steven and I get blamed for a lot when we're both present. Yes, because y'all are bad. You don't behave. I have six brothers and not gonna lie, Steven is totally similar to several of them. Steven is a very bad influence and he drives me nuts. He's so bad. All I know is I'm new to Nora's channel chats. Oh yeah, my my chat, we, they go crazy here. Like, I'm just letting you know, if you are new to my channel, the chat, especially late night streams, I don't know what it is, which y'all, you know, you people who stay up late like me, okay, because I'm normal. I'm very normal. I'm not normal, but you know, I'm just saying it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of Australians on my chat tonight who are kind of going nutty. Y'all are bad influences. <laughs> we are. We have no chill. Okay, so let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I'm in my afternoon. I don't know what it is about late night streams, but we always we always have streams like this. And then all the people who thumbs down my streams 
or the ones who just aren't cool like us. Because like every time I have a chaotic stream like this, I get like five people who thumbs down it and I'm just like, well, y'all are wrong. Y'all aren't fun. Y'all aren't, you know, the cool nutty kind of people. We don't need your like. I don't like dark chocolate. I would prefer, I prefer milk chocolate. Yeah, some people do thumbs down my videos, yes. I can still see them because somehow Steven got around it. I don't even know how. It's the same Bitcoin people. How many, how many times are, is, are the bit people gonna come? The bit people, the Bitcoin people. But yeah, it, it happens. Stop, uh, seriously, Steven, stop bringing that into my chat. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Wine vibes for me. How funny would it be if a channel called Wet Chocolate commented? I swear, if <laughs> Wet Chocolate. That's gonna be the new channel name. If I ever have to change my channel name, it'll be Wet Chocolate. Um, I've blocked the bot several times. I think it's like a duplicate of it. Wet chocolate is delicious. I just, what is wet chocolate? That's the main question I have. What is wet chocolate? All right, I'm trying so hard to blend this area out, but y'all are just distractive and I'm about to rage, rage quit. I'm trying to decide though. I'm going to try to blend this out right here. No, Dawn, <laughs> why are y'all bringing this into my chat? Y'all are so bad. I don't even know who started it. I think Kirby started the, the name. Okay, we are not Jimmy here, all right? Control yourselves. I swear, one person does it and then everybody starts saying it. It's poo, Nora, it's never chocolate. You could, well, it depends on that for, you, for Steven because he almost ate poo one time. Remember that one time when uh, our child tried to give you a chocolate donut, Steven? <laughs> Have they heard that story? So like when my child was like two, I want to say two, Steven almost ate a dookie. And not because he wanted to. I mean, maybe he likes eating dookie. I don't know. He probably does like to eat dookie. I mean, I just don't know about it. But anyways, <clears throat> story time. Late night story time. Why is it, it's always on late night streams that we have story time. I'm just realizing that. Horrible gaming at dark. <laughs> uh, after dark, horrible gaming. That's what we'll call these streams from now on, I guess. Anyways, so we were like potty training one of our dogs, right? And I guess, and Stephen got like these, these little donuts from like the, the gas station. Like, I don't even know, were they hostess donuts, I think? Yes, he almost ate a dookie, a poo-poo. It's a dookie. Um, so anyways, my daughter was like two, barely talking, right? Well, no, she was like one, actually. Yeah, she was one. Cause yeah, she was barely talking. At two, she was talking a lot. I'm, t I'm horrible at story time. Anyways, so Steven's like, oh, I'm so excited, you know, to have some chocolate donuts. And well, you know, being a parent and all, when your child brings you something and tries to feed you something, it's like, oh, they're so sweet, they wanna feed me. Well, Steven, you can come finish the story while I go get my second cup of coffee. He's gonna come finish the story for me. And oh, thank you so much, Alexi, for coming to the stream in chaos tonight. Have a great night. All right, yes, here's Steven to finish the, the chocolate donut story while I go get my coffee. So I'll be right back. All right, go ahead and finish it. And I'm also gonna finish up this. this. Do not, do not touch <laughs> my game. Right, um, the chocolate donuts. Sorry. Yeah, chocolate donuts. So, my daughter, she brings me this brown mass, which I had just given her. They're like those little tiny little Hostess donuts that are about the size of like maybe a half dollar or something. They're like bite size almost. So she brings me this brown mass, and I was thinking, oh, cute. She just wants to feed me, cute little baby. But I don't know if it was my internal voice, the voice of God or what, but something inside of me said, hey, smell that before you eat it. And I listened to that voice and I'm thankful to this day that I did because she dropped it into my hand. I took a big old whiff and I was like, oh, it's poop! And I threw it across the room and it splashed on the, on the wall. 
Oh. The end. <laughs> All right. I am back with my coffee. Yes. I will, y'all, I was laughing so hard. I almost TT'd myself. I was like, oh my gosh, you almost ate poo. Anyways, <clears throat> the joy is a parenthood. You never know what to expect. <laughs> I shall be dreaming about what chocolate Alexi says. <laughs> but yes, so uh, as you can see, my life is pretty chaotic. <laughs> life is like a box of turd nuggets. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, oh no, I'm for sure gonna tell her. Yeah, the story has so many layers of icky, yes. And I honestly, he threw the dog poo and I still don't know where it went. I'm sure I cleaned, I cleaned it. Oh, you did clean it. Okay, yeah, good. I, like, settled down from the <laughs> I just remember hearing him because like he's really loud when he feels like he's about to throw up. He was like, Ugh! and I was like, what is going on? Oh, hi, Irish lady. Don't mind us having a chaotic live stream tonight. No problem, Lola. Thank you so much. Okay, who made? <laughs> Who made the wet chocolate username? Y'all have no chill. Oh my gosh. Now we're gonna have somebody on our live stream constantly with the name wet chocolate. <laughs> Do we have a dry chocolate? Yeah, it's called chocolate powder. Cocoa powder. Oh my gosh, y'all have no chill. Y'all are so bad. <laughs> Chaotic, this stream. It's chaotic. It's the reason why I cannot concentrate. Why are y'all this way? You know, I just I came on to today's stream and I was like, we're gonna have a productive live stream. I'm gonna get so much done today, and like, I'm I'm struggling on concentrating because y'all keep talking about wet chocolate. Come on now, <laughs> I take zero responsibility for this. I'm a volunteer. Yeah, Claire, you're getting a pay cut. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you any bells, Claire. <laughs> All right, I'm trying so hard to focus, but y'all are so bad. All right, once I place though, I think I'm gonna blend out actually some of the water over here. I'm trying so hard to decorate this, but y'all are so bad. Do you need me to come and tell you what to put down? No, you are not gonna direct my live stream. You don't I even know what to build. Help. I can help you. I don't need, I don't need your help. I don't need your help, Steven. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. I might actually like do a quick walk through and see what else I can get done before the stream ends. <laughs> wet chocolate. I really want to know who named their their uh, account wet chocolate because you are my hero. <laughs> Stefan. I'm gonna start like writing Christmas gifts now to uh, to him though with that name. I honestly, I do want him to play Animal Crossing and do like a build and stream with y'all, but he refuses to do it. So if y'all want him to do a Animal Crossing stream and build, we, we can make it happen. City Core Tutorial 101 from Steven. Bitcoin! Another Bitcoin, another Bitcoin. Irish Lady, thank you so much. Bitcoin! Another one. I'm telling you, I think it's a duplicate account. Jake Allen, another one. Another one. Oh my gosh, crazy, chaotic live streams at mm. night, I swear. I apologize to all my new followers. We're just kind of crazy over here. We have no chill. <laughs> another one, says Fit and Curvy. All right, I am trying to blend this out. I have no idea what my plan is but we're just gonna like roll with it. I'm trying to make this uh, at least not look as blocky-ish. I just need it blended out, but I was thinking, what if at some point I do like a little, you know, rooftop patio thing over here? Let's see. Fit and curvy, I'm semi-new. I love it here already. I'm so glad that you want to stay even with all the chaoticness of, you know, of these streams that we have. Okay, so here is how the progress is going. What do we think? I'm actually kind of liking it. I'm trying to think what other items we can put here. Let's see. Looking through item list to try to see what we got. I'm new and I sud for the chaos. Kiss to cry. Thank you so much for the sub. 
I'm so glad that our craziness uh, makes you feel welcome. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I'm trying to decide what I can do to give it a little bit more life. You know, obviously I have a lot of decorating to still do, but I am, I'm definitely happy with the progress we have. Even through all the chaos, somehow we've made progress tonight. I don't know how we've done it, but we have. We've been somewhat uh, productive tonight. Uh, I'm so glad you subbed for the chaos. We, we are pretty crazy here. <laughs> all right, let's see sign what kind of i know that we can do the destination signpost somewhere that will be a really cute addition what other i'm looking through items right now don't mind me what other one the dookie is in the game oh speaking of dookie sea creatures thank you we could do like maybe uh, a fish some fish market stuff going on right here i'm trying to see what else <laughs> i love the name but i'm forever calling you wet chocolate now <laughs> all right fish market let's go you know i did do like a coastal theme a long time ago but i obviously never kept it because i'm indecisive i'm looking at items so bear with me i will do a really nice cluttered area like with cardboard boxes and stuff too crazy and productive how i live my life pretty much i mean that's like sums up my life Cardboard table. We'll go ahead and get that. I love the cardboard items. I honestly wish we had more cardboard items. Because I just, I love them a lot. But we're going to do a cardboard table. And then we will do some, some actual sea creatures, like suggested. I really love the containers for, like, all the crabs. So I think we'll do mitten crab. Let's see what else um oh yeah diving beetle diving beetle has a really nice little bucket so we'll do that we'll do some trash bags because trash bags are life tuna juice for sure i used to drink tuna juice ew um let's see fish cooler isn't that what it's called the fish cooler not container Irish lady, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. Your builds inspire me. You are a fun streamer. I'm so glad you are here, even with the chaos. Thank y'all again for su the uh, support tonight. Uh, it's been a chaotic stream. I, I apologize. Sometimes we have no chill here, but y'all are my friends, okay? So, like, you know, you know, if you're crazy, that means you're comfortable and you're good friends. <laughs> now I can buy paper plates, Marshy says. Yes, thank you, Irish lady. I can go finally buy some paper plates and stop using my computer. <laughs> y'all are never going to let me live this down, are you? I swear I'm going to go into every live stream and y'all are going to remind me of the fact that I used my laptop as a dinner plate. <laughs> oh, yeah, stock fish containers. That's a good idea. I know I love the little fish containers like so much. Oh my gosh. I promise I will stop doing this to my computer. All right, I promise. Oh yeah, fishing rod. I do, I, I have one like over here, but I feel like you can go crazy with that kind of stuff. I'm trying to look at all the fish that like come in nice containers. Um, we can also do some fish models too. Uh, fish container. I did one in, I wanna say I did one in like a yellow color. So I might do one with the red fish. I'm looking at items. I promise I'm not ignoring the chat. I promise, promise, promise I'm not. I'm just trying to see what other items I can get. Um, all right. What other crabs come in the nice container? Doesn't the snow crab come into a nice one or the king crab? Oh wait, no. I think I know which one it does. I'll buy you paper plates. I swear if I get a bunch of paper plates, sent to me <laughs> yes keep the name i love it i mean you can change it if you want i don't care it's up to you but i think it's epic all right where is my trash bags i could have swore i just got some trash bags trays of fish Ooh, i want to say the trays of fish for like the actual fish market i'm kind of just doing like a little bit of like you know clutter but uh, I don't want to like take away from my actual fish market that I'm going to be doing. So maybe just like, you know, a bunch of fisher, 
fisherman uh, stuff is what I'm going to try to go for. Fishing rod. Let me go ahead and get that real quick before I forget. If you hear a weird dinging sound, it's just me getting items into my inventory. That's Bitcoin. Do we have another Bitcoin? I haven't even seen the chat yet. Oh my gosh, another one. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, you can definitely... Uh, you can definitely make suggestions. Just know that the build is a huge work in progress still. Like I have a long ways to go still on it. Decoration wise and everything. Oh yeah, definitely going to get some fish bait. I was thinking of doing like a little miniature log stool. That's why it's in my inventory. I was going to do like a little dropped one. <laughs> and, and you know, am I the only one live streaming right now? Is that why I'm getting all... Am I, is that why I'm getting like all the Bitcoin bots? Because I decided to stream at such a weird hour. <laughs> so many bots tonight. They're just like, nobody else is live. So we'll just go hang out with Nora tonight. And y'all keep saying it's because I need to buy paper plates. <laughs> Maybe that's why. They're like, you can invest into paper plates. All right, there's a trash bags. I'm going to Nookas on to pay someone to dig flowers and crops. I can't be bothered. You got this. What are you gonna do for the sand and water? Uh, which one? Are you talking about like right here? Cause I'm gonna do some rocks over here. I have a lot of stuff planned. It's just, you know, trying to get everything blended out. And that's if I even keep that there. A lot of my stuff is still a work in progress. I go back and forth on my builds uh, constantly. So definitely just keep that in mind that I'm probably going to change stuff up a lot before the stream's over. I can try to stream to help with the share with bots. Marshy, we're in this together. Go get some of the bots for us. This is a perfect streaming hour. Nothing better to have your first coffee of the day with a weird conversations. Let's go. There's always going to be weird conversations on uh, my streams. The bots are lonely. That's exactly right. They're lonely. Let's see. Trying to decide what I want to do over here. So like the goal is to make this very cozy. I just feel like I need to do, I need to do something up here, you know? Welcome back, Christian. How are you doing? I was thinking I could do some terraform up here, but I'm gonna remove this part of the top for now, like up here, cause I'm gonna improve this. I just don't know how I want to do the layout yet. So just letting y'all know that I'm thinking that this is gonna be some sort of a sitting spot. So I'm gonna move this for now. I'm gonna blend this out probably when stream's over. Figure out what we're doing. Cause I wanna focus on the decor down here. Um, let's see. Could do some drying racks over here as well. Let me, let me see. What else do we have? Drying rack. Oh yeah, we could do like the little rusty looking one. I do. I love this deck as well. I'll make sure to, um, I'll add this to the stream's description once it's over. The rope fencing would look cool if you can find a place for it. Which one? I've been using the rope partition throughout the uh, island. Is that which one you're talking about? Let's see. This one, I've been using it throughout the island. Stop it, Steven. <laughs> Why are you- well, I, I, it's, a, it's a good deck. <laughs> so immature. I have no idea what you're talking about. So immature. <laughs> Good night. I'm going to go to bed. No problem, sweet Shay. Thank you so much for being here on this chaotic live stream tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm, I know that there's a lot of y'all probably wanting to see the progress before, you know, I get ready for bed. He's so bad. Irish lady, I swear. They just, you know, everybody here just encourages him to go naughty. The actual fence with metal stands on the ends. What is that one called? I mean, we have a lot of decorating to do still. So just keep that in mind. It is definitely a huge work in progress. I think I might move that. Let's see. Oh, we could do another fish drying rack over here too. Men are bad. Yes, he's bad. 
I mean, I'm just as immature as he is, but we'll just blame him. <laughs> Everything's his fault. Like he always comes into my stream saying, he's like, it's all my fault. Ashley, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome to the chaotic, uh, you know, streaming on this channel. There it is. I think this is the one I wanted. I'm trying to look for the one with the squids. Yes, he's very naughty. He's bad. Okay, that's the squid. The squid looks like hands. It looks like somebody put a bunch of hands on this. Doesn't it look like hands? Or is it just me that thinks that? I put the hands on my deck. <laughs> Shut up. Just get out of here. Did y'all hear him behind there? He's being so immature. I'm gonna ban you. <laughs> y'all are so bad. Please be behave on this stream. Isn't that a squid? I thought that was a squid. Stop it, Steven. All right, let's put the next one over here. Oh wait, I didn't realize I had a fish drying rack over there, but I'm gonna definitely swap it out so it's not super matchy. Yes, don't get me in trouble with YouTube, okay? I said nothing wrong. I mean, he, he didn't say technically anything wrong, but we're just immature adults over here. Why are we like this? All right. I'm trying to decide, is that too many? Stop it, Steven. <laughs> He's like laughing behind there. No, he doesn't get any hugs. He's been so bad tonight. He's like literally been the worst. Maybe we can do like a log bench and like a cushion with an anchor. Which I'm thinking out loud, don't mind me as I look at items. Um, let's see. Oh, definitely a bucket. Like a tin bucket. We'll do that. All right. I'm trying to get some good productiveness in before I go to bed. Because I do... Hey, you can go to bed and I can finish. You cannot finish my stream. <laughs> We've been streaming for two hours. I was saying that it was going to be a shorter stream tonight. I was like, oh... It's probably only gonna be like an hour long stream. And then here we are, y'all are bad. You encourage the chaos too much. Now here I am still streaming. <laughs> I'm planning to also stream again tomorrow. I might not, you know, this stream probably won't be at 24 hours, but uh, I do wanna stream again tomorrow if I get time. So y'all just get your notifications on cause it's like 12 AM for me. But um, if I get the extra time, I really want to. If I can't stream tomorrow, I'll do a video, but I'm hoping we can get a stream in because what if we grind out this island, you know, and get it done all on the live stream. I'm looking for my workbench. Where is my workbench? I know I have a workbench, there it is. But yeah, I mean like we might do another stream later today because I'm gonna be going to bed. So if y'all are down for more grinding this island out, let's try to get slate port finished. Let me know because I'll totally do another live stream later if y'all are down. And I'll probably have my webcam on because, you know, I'll be asleep, get some nice beauty sleep in. And my sleep schedule's completely messed up. So y'all know I'm gonna sleep pretty much for most of the day and probably stream at night again. <laughs> so just a heads up, if I do stream again tomorrow, it's definitely gonna be late at night. Oh, I know, I love Whitney and Lolly. I just had to have them. Oh yeah, my cat is trying to be a part of the stream. Come here, Sunny. I don't, if you are new to my channel, you'll see my cat Sunny appear on streams a lot because she does this every time I'm streaming. Oh, you know what'd be really cute right here? Because we have the red uh, boat right here. We'll do like the uh, fish model. I forget what it's called. Maybe it's the snapper. <laughs> Claire's like, wow, I leave and things get very after dark suddenly. Oh yeah, like usually late night streams. I don't know what it is about y'all, but y'all are nutty, okay? Let me see, is it, is it the snapper model? Cause we're gonna definitely use a lot of fish models. But I don't know what it is. Every time I do a late night stream, it's just like we have no chill. Okay, it is red snapper. I think that would be so cute here. Thank you so much. I'm really excited about everyone to come see this island cause I've had so much fun with it. See, we'll do the fish model right there. And then let's see. Wooden bucket. That's actually kind of cute there. Brings in more of the brown. It's Stefan. 
And then maybe, let's see, what else do we got? Ooh, we could do another fishing stand. I mean, it's like a fishing area, so we can go nuts with all the fishing items. I just saw elves, rats, common. Oh! <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Have you been watching too many memes? Yeah, for some reason, Steven's just laughing and going nutty in the back, so I apologize. I don't know what his problem is sometimes. I promise I'll do a walkthrough in a second. I know I have some people asking about it. I'm just trying to see what I want to do. Could. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop laying that. I mean, who snores like that? <laughs> I'm not, like, I really want to know. We we watch too many memes in this house. I'm so sorry. Like my whole entire life is a meme, pretty much. And then, and then he has no chill. All right. Yeah, it's definitely a hand flip when I say Stefan. I, when I had my webcam on, like I'll give him, you know, a little nice little hand flip when I say it. All right, let's go, let's go, let's be productive. My dad, my dad every, okay, so story time. <laughs> story time, guys. On Are you talking about the, uh, the, the grass story? No, <laughs> but I forgot about the, oh my gosh, my dad. I love my dad so <laughs> much, but there's just some things where I'm like, dad, please, no more. Uh, all right, let me, let me customize this real quick. So anyways, uh, this first story time I have for you. When I was like, this is Slateport, yes, Irish lady. Um, so when I was like 10, no, I was less, I was like Claire's age, I wanna say, which is my daughter's name, by the way. I think I was, yeah, I was five. I was five years old and we went camping, right? And when you're like, you know, a little baby still and a small child, you take naps with your parents sometimes. And I remember, I was taking a nap, I guess, in the trailer when we were camping. And my dad, he snores. When he snores, he sounds literally like a grizzly bear. And there was like these people like walking by our trailer. And apparently my dad like scared the crap out of them. <laughs> they were like, they ran. They were like so terrified because they heard like this really loud, like snoring growl noise. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But like my dad, oh my gosh, he, yeah, he's like a really loud snore. But like the meme that Steven was showing, I just, I'm like, even with my dad being the way he is, I'm just like, who sleeps like that and makes that kind of a noise? And then the next story time, what was the next story? Oh, yeah, my dad. Okay, so my dad also, sorry, dad, again, if you see my stream, because, you know, my family does follow my live streams, and they're probably, you know, praying over me constantly because we're chaotic over here. <laughs> but, uh, no, so I love my dad. I love him so much. But, like, this man, he will not let you get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he will not let you get off the phone. I'll be like, dad, look, I gotta go. He'll be like, oh yeah, do you remember that one time? I'm like, no dad, I do not want to hear about how you're a beekeeper for the 20th freaking time. But he still will tell you. He still will tell you about how the everything about being a beekeeper. I know things about beekeeping. I, I know so much because this man will make me sit through it for hours. But anyways, so uh, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So my dad, he gets into like story time, right? And uh, he'll like start talking and like we're like, oh, dad, I got to go. I got to get off the phone. I don't even know how it happened. But like my phone lost connection with him. And he, he didn't even realize that I was not connected to the phone anymore. Then the phone, the phone service connected back up. And all I hear on my dad on the phone and he's like, and that's why I only eat grass fed beef. That's all, that's all I heard on from my dad. He didn't, he didn't skip a beat. Like this dude was talking to himself about, I don't even know what he was talking about. Just, I just know that grass fed beef was part of the conversation when we, when we finally connected. And this, he does not know. He does not know that I missed pretty much the whole conversation. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. I don't even know why this conversation happened, but like, yeah, my dad, oh gosh this man will talk about anything and he'll keep you on the phone you are not allowed to leave the phone when you're talking to him oh yeah i don't know if anybody else has dads or moms like that but like this man also will stop a stranger in the grocery store just to tell him he's a beekeeper 
And then he'll tell him this whole life story. And I'm like, Dad, we just came here for sandwich bread. That's it. It's so, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> it is true. Dad energy. Yes. It's like dads will become friends. It doesn't matter who they are. It's just a, you know, complete stranger. But dads just have that. Like, I don't know what it is. They, they can befriend anybody. And honestly, that is an incredible, like, you know, ability. I can't do that. <laughs> but it's like. Maybe it's just from their generation. I don't know. But it's like my dad could be friends with anybody. And then we'll sit there just standing in the way because he wants to talk to everybody. That was like my childhood growing up. I was always so embarrassed too. I was like, I just want to go home. But my dad's over here becoming friends with this random person. <laughs> yes, for sure. Honestly, Steven's kind of getting that way too at times. He'll just I don't like people. What are you talking you about? You do sometimes if they're like talking about something you really like, you'll I'll be like be kind to people and like engage in a conversation, but I won't start one. No, I mean I I agree with that. Especially when I'm going to Walmart, I'm just like, leave me alone. Don't talk to me. But yeah, I don't know. It's good times, good times. I'm glad to know that my dad is not the only person who does that. I legit, when we go to the mall and there's the people at the kiosk. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, Steven's the kind of person though, like you know like when you go to the malls and you have like those little kiosks like in between the stores of like those people trying to sell you things they, and like, grab you by the they, like, they like literally grab you and they're just like, please buy my product, please. You're the first person to make eye contact with me in days. And anyways, well, Steven, oh my gosh. Yes, Steven, he he gets blamed for everything. Stefan, I mean. Uh, anyways, so I'll do a quick walkthrough while we talk about this. But this man, so we were like walking through the, um, the mall. And uh, the guy was like trying to sell him some foot cream or something. And I don't even know what Steven said exactly. Oh, he knows what he said. Come here. So anyways, like he embarrassed me completely, but the person was like, I remember him being so offended with you. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, what did you do? It was a lady and oh. she was just like, hi sir, can I like get you whatever this product is? And I was just like, oh no, thank you. She's like, it'll only take a minute of your time and I was not having it. So I just screamed at the top of my lungs, stranger danger. <laughs> And I ran away like a little like a little girl and it was it was hilarious and she was really embarrassed and she gave me like the weirdest face. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So he screams stranger danger everybody in the freaking mall looking at me because my my grown man husband toddler child thing is screaming sta stranger danger everyone's looking at me the poor kiosk lady like you know totally embarrassed and i'm just like oh my gosh why hey you know what she didn't bother me again she did not bother us or give us eye contact for the rest of our shopping trip <laughs> i wonder why she gave you a weird stare hey i wonder why when i said no i don't have the time she decided to keep talking anyway <laughs> Yeah, when I'm, when my mom sees someone she knows, she'll be talking to them forever. And I'm like, Ma, you've been talking for half an hour. Go home. That's my mother-in-law, too. The booty stalls with the 150 creams. The what stalls? The beauty. You said booty. <laughs> the booty stalls. I want to go and find those stalls. <laughs> the, not the booty stalls. The beauty. Beauty, not beauty. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, they 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 will want to uh, get your attention. The booty stalls. I'm sorry. Okay, words are hard. If my video gets flagged because I just can't talk, I swear. <laughs> I pretend to be texting while walk by those. Me too. I will like purposely act like I'm texting. <laughs> the booty stalls. <laughs> Y'all, come on, come on. It was uh, it was an accident. Don't go repeating it in the chat. Oh yeah, it's, uh, my speed animation's up. <laughs> Don't ask me if I wanna watch a movie. <laughs> All right, imagine it, that was a thing. It probably is. All right, walk through, walk through. Y'all, come on now, come on. So this is the highway. Um, let's see, probably was in New York. I'm sure, I'm sure they do exist. I just, you know. Knowing me, I mess up words a lot, okay? I know I'm bad about it. All right, so here is the roundabout. And I was able to add that fake beach in the back. Remember, if you've been watching my channel, we did that uh, that island tour. Well, they had like this fake beach in the back and I was like, oh my gosh, I really need this on Slateboard. So I added that. 
I'm trying to focus, Kirby. I am. I'm trying to focus, but y'all are bad. All right, and then over here, I have this volleyball court, but I don't know who it was. One of y'all suggested doing this a swimming pool, and I really like that. So I'm gonna be changing this to a swimming pool. So I'm gonna relocate the volleyball court somewhere else on the island. So that's gonna be right here, the swimming pool. Um, how do you go across building your island? Do you plan or something? I totally wing my builds, which I know is not realistic for everybody. So I always hope that, you know, the speed builds, the streams, you know, just kind of help give you some inspiration that you might need for your island. This is a new spot that I just did. So this is on the other side of the highway. Then you go down this incline. Um, yeah, all the codes, by the way, that I've used today and just on this island are in the stream's description. I do need to add the tan deck code. So I will add that when the stream's over. And then that is new over here. And then um, you can also see the lighthouse from right over here. I just thought that was really cool little uh, detail. You know, just being able to see that. Um, and then you go down here, and this is just a really small filler area. But it uh, looks like one of my villagers is having the time of his life down here. Uh, and that, yeah, that's just a little filler spot. <laughs> that rock be looking sus. Stop it, Steven. All right, well, let's go up here. And oh my gosh, Catone, thank you so much. Yeah, like I said, though, I'm going to be swapping this out to the swimming pool. After that suggestion from today's stream, I'm, I'm down for that. I love that idea. And then I can relocate the volleyball court probably like near my entry. And I can do like a nice parking lot for it. So maybe I'll just do that. I think that is such a great idea. I might do the uh, abandoned swimming pool up there. Like make it nice and overgrown. But it also just depends on my design code space. If I don't have space, I'll just do like a regular pool. And then I need to redo the front of here still. Like I, have, I haven't gotten there yet with the rebuild. Oh my gosh, Irish lady, I'm so glad. Cyanwood was one of my favorite islands. I I don't even know what to call it, like a resort theme. It was a really fun theme though. Then I have this pretty decent sized uh, parking lot. I, I really like making parking lots. I don't know why, I just have a slight obsession with parking lots. Uh, but I really loved how the flow of this one turned out. I think that's like one of my favorite things to make, parking lots. This is the other side of the highway. So that's the highway up there. And uh, then we have this little water transitional spot. Keep in mind, I accidentally deleted my island like four days ago, so I've had to rebuild all of this. So um, some details and some builds are missing from my last live stream because of that. Like on the last live stream, this part of the road transitioned to my villager cul-de-sac, and it still will. It's just gonna be further down. So like the villager cul-de-sac will probably be like right here. And I'm hoping to have space for it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can fit the villagers over here still. Yeah, I'm not making use of any of my river maps on this island. There's just, there's just no, um, no reason to use them. Sometimes I don't use them on an island. I just ignore them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely, uh, are you talking about like tour Signwood again? Cause I deleted that island. Oh my gosh, I deleted that island like a year ago. All I have is the dream address still. Is that the one where we did that? <clears throat> it is the one where we did that uh, skit, that one that you did. Um, I just kind of block off my river mouths. I really don't know how I do it. I just kind of like blend it out. <laughs> I don't know. But my next island that I create, I'm planning to make use of water. Like I'm probably gonna try to incorporate water somehow on my new cherry blossom theme that I'm planning to do. But there's just no promises. I do know, however, when I do something that's kind of like more structured and European-like, I'll definitely be making use of my river mouse. And when I do an elegant core island. So I do plan to use water on those. But sometimes I just don't use them and I ignore them, you know? Oh, I will. I definitely will be down to two of y'all's islands. We're going to be doing another DA stream. I mean, if I don't get enough done on Slateport, maybe we can do a DA stream tomorrow. It's up to y'all. We'll see what happens. 
Because like, you know, what if we're grinding out Slayport to finish it? I don't know what tomorrow's stream is gonna be. I'm moving these because I have a different plan. So, but we are still gonna use, you know, live animals. But um, yeah, I just, you know, I when it comes to the island building in general, I kind of just, you know, see where my creativity takes me. And I know that it's not realistic for everybody to build like that, but that's just kind of like my mindset. That's how I work. So if you can't do that, don't be hard on yourself about it. We all build and work differently. I'm just, I have no life, <laughs> so I'm building constantly. So uh, just make sure you don't compare yourself to other people because, you know, some people like me, for example, just we have nothing better to do except play Animal Crossing all day. But yeah, I think, so you see where that water, that little rock is? I think I'm going to do another little, little thing like that, maybe below. Let's see how that looks before the stream ends. No problem, Irish lady. I can't wait to see what you do. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely do another DA stream soon. I mean, I, I would say tomorrow, but I might be doing, we might be grinding out Slateport still. I'm going to try to get this island done. So if I do stream tomorrow, it'll probably be working on Slateport or we'll play maybe something different. I'm not sure what to do, but I'm trying to get this island done so we can focus on new content, you know? So we'll just see what happens. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna have a lot more time to like, you know, do channel stuff and more content when my kids start school, which is in like, a f I think that's next week. So I'll be able to play other games and build more and stream more. Cause like right now I'm only able to usually stream like once or twice a week. But once she starts school, I will have a lot more flexibility, you know? But yeah. If y'all are interested, though, in, uh, you know, the DA stream, I'm thinking we can plan for it, not this weekend, but, like, next weekend. I'll make a notification about it and some information, too. Oh, another Bitcoin one. Thank you, Steven, for deleting. Oh, my gosh, another one. Make sure you also block them. You can't just delete their message. You have to, like, hide them from the channel. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna test out this little spot right here and then I'll probably have to go because I was trying to stream for only two hours, max and it's two and a half now. So, uh, and what we got a worried we can do as well. But um, my plan basically is I'm gonna go to bed, right? And when I wake up, which is probably gonna be like afternoon-ish, because, you know, my sleep schedule is going to be completely messed up. I'll probably play some Pokemon before I sleep. Uh, and also blend out that top area. But I'm planning to live stream again tomorrow. It's 12.55 a.m. for me, right? And I need to go night because I've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm exhausted. But uh, I'm going to do another stream. So I know it won't be around 24 hours. Because, again, I... I'm streaming technically today because it's early morning, but we can ignore that, okay? So when I wake up, I will probably be streaming, I want to say again, um, central time zone, that's my time zone, by the way, uh, around the late afternoon to evening. So just make sure your notifications are turned on because we're going to be grinding this out. Hopefully we can get our villager cul-de-sac done tomorrow. Because I'm maybe technically sleeping. I know it's today, but I'm saying tomorrow because I haven't slept yet. <laughs> but um, we're going to do our villager cul-de-sac, definitely. And I think we might even start the entry. So my goal is to blend this top out. And it's going to be just, you know, uh, the storefronts. Because I'm keeping it really simple because my design slots are completely filled up. So we're going to blend this out. And then tomorrow, like I said, we're going to try to focus on villager cul-de-sac and getting my entry here i'm like sonic running up here to show y'all there it is right here so this is my entry we're gonna work on an entry tomorrow as well and maybe so for tomorrow we can focus on maybe also putting my volleyball court here that would be really cute yeah i can show y'all my design slots i think i only have like four or three slots open and I'm trying to save those for like, you know, my seafood restaurant that I really want to make and stuff. So 
This is how I organize my roads, by the way, if you're curious. I, I did not use all the road pieces for like, you know, the inner quarters for Collins Road. By the way, all the codes already in the stream's description. I do need to add the, uh, the tan colored uh, code for the uh, deck that I've been using. And I'll do that later. But um, this is by Pickleton. It's inside her water code. I'll need to add that. That was a road add or a water add on she made me. The water code I have organized. Um, let's see. I think I'll have, I'll probably be deleting these to do. Uh, well, I might keep this one for my swimming pool, these two. But I'm not sure. My cat's like meowing. So I'm keeping that for my seafood restaurant. I want to keep this for some beachy uh, builds if I can. But again, it just depends. Sometimes I don't need a code, so I'll have to delete it. Um, that's for my volleyball court. I kept it really simple. I just used that one piece. This is for a shop that I'm wanting to do. This is for some fish markets and stuff, so I'm keeping both of these. Um, I actually think I can delete this shutter. I don't need this because I'm just using that piece for my boat workshop. This is the public restroom. I'm keeping that actually for um, like a shopping strip area. And I saw this wave neon sign on Criteria Search, so I saved it. I don't know if I'll get to use it, but I think this would be really cool if you're doing like a retro tropical theme. I just really love that. So if you want that code, just type in the word wave neon. Then here is the, the code or the um, deck that I've been using. If you don't want to wait for me to get the MA code, just search in natural board two, and that'll bring in up the, co uh, the code and then long natural board two. So if you don't want to have to wait for me when I go to bed to add that MA code in, that's what you can search. Then I have the sand path that I absolutely love. And I'm going to use that to blend out some of my roads and some of my other areas. So I technically, I will be deleting this one because I know I just won't be able to use it. And I might be able to delete these. So I'll have a little bit of wiggle room, but I'm probably going to save those for like my shopping district. Because I want to do some shops, you know. Like I might blend this road out and kind of like angle it down a little bit so I can do like some stores right here. So I think that's definitely gonna be one of the things I do. I'm trying to fit as much content or content into this as I can. Obviously I'm running out of space, but we're making progress. But I'm absolutely excited about how this location is turning out. I really thought adding the windmills in here would be such a fun detail. And then um, I have, you know, our little boat area going on. I'm probably going to end up having to fill that in. I was hoping it wouldn't look too funky. But since this is like a boat yard, I mean, the boats need to be able to pass through. So I'll fill that in real fast before the stream ends. But yeah, I mean, I think, I think we've made some great progress. Keep in mind, my island accidentally got deleted like four days ago. So... I think for, you know, as crappy as that was, we've made a lot of progress and I've had so much fun with this island and I think that is a huge win for me because many of y'all know I restart my island themes a lot because I'm picky. This is the first time I've been able to build on an island and get past that pickiness, you know? So hopefully we can get a lot done tomorrow. I'm placing one more yacht real fast before we end the stream. But hopefully we'll get a lot of progress done tomorrow. So just make sure your notifications turned on. I know usually I post every 24 hours, but this stream will definitely be before that because of my sleep schedule. So with that being said, thanks y'all for such a chaotic live stream. Y'all are so bad, but also just, you know, Having a fun one too. Thank you again for all the new subscriptions that we got today, all the super chats. I mean, y'all are amazing. Thank y'all for loving me for all my chaotic craziness that I offer. <laughs> and for, you know, a, a, you know, putting up with Steven <laughs> or Stefan. He's like, I'm not that bad. But uh, y'all are the best. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have all this done before the live stream. Uh, starts we'll get all the details in and then we can focus on villagers because as you can see I only have one villager on my map so we really need to start finding homes for my villagers but yeah thank y'all so much for a fun late night stream I will see you later today um, around the evening ish oh yeah we're gonna go raid another streamer let me see did you make sure that their chat isn't locked like the last yeah, one 
All right, before I go, I'm gonna get y'all a, uh, we're gonna go raid it stream. Oh no, my computer's doing that weird black screen half thing again. Can you come fix this so we can raid? We're in, he's fixing my computer real fast before, oh wait, it did it, we're good. It's kind of going nutty. Oh, my computer's totally freaking out right now, so we might have to do the raid uh, next time. I don't know what it's doing. Let me see it. My computer screen just went black screen of death. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, my, I'm glad we're finally calling it a night because look at how my computer is acting. All right, oh no, we got bots too. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link in the, the I room. can't drop the link right now because it's, it's act every time I push a button it freaks out We'll have to I'll have Steven drop the link in the chat for me. Go ahead and do it okay. He's gonna drop the uh, link to the streamer that we're gonna go right tonight because my computer is like freaking out I don't know why I wish y'all could see it on my end, but my computer is like totally spazzing out so he's gonna drop the link for me so we can make sure we can go raid that stream and I will be over there in a second. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the pin message. It is, it's because I used it as a grilled cheese plate probably. <laughs> All right, make sure, oh, we got a bot too. Steven will go ahead and delete those bots and we will go over and raid this awesome streamer. Thank y'all again for the love tonight. I will see you later today. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day or night. See you at that stream to raid.